Warning, please do not be offended by any content from this audio transmission. The hosts and guests are not professionals in any field of scientific, mathematic, or any other educated background. We will get facts wrong, divulge too much information, awkwardly approach subjects, and make fools of ourselves. Enjoy the show. You're going to shit yourself. No. <laughs> <laughs> nice IROC, bro. I, yeah, for real. It wasn't IROC, but I did have teeth <laughs> You just paint mark an IROC on the side of it. <laughs> yeah, my girlfriend said, uh, make sure you don't shit yourself when you go up to the mountains. <laughs> we're like, we're going to start doing reads for random shit until we get cease and desist stories. Yeah, right, yeah. You know I mean, part of being a higher being is that, like, you realize, like, you're definitely not supposed to shank your neighbor. It's the Wu-Tang Clan of Podcasts. <laughs> you're now listening to Shit Get Deep. From the western basin of Lake Erie, we bring to you an elaborate mess of drunken shit talk, ingenious bad ideas, and offensive subject matter. We proudly present to you shit. Party people, what's up? In the house. Yes, yes, yes. What is the goddamn word? All of them. Thunderbird. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. <laughs> I was going to say uvula. Yeah, ooh. Oh. oh. Getting in there, huh? Oh, yeah. Right to the back of it. <laughs> uh, what's up, guys? All the good stuff. Yeah. Mr. Cody, what's up? What up? We got Mr. Cody in the house, as Yo. always, normally. Mr. Tyner. Fade the motherfuckers like bleach. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> the pirate chef. He's on it. And we got Matt Saban with us tonight. What's up? Woke we'll up feeling dangerous. Yeah. Oh, you know that. <laughs> You're always waking up feeling dangerous, man. Once or twice a week. That's yeah. about it. It's That's da- a- dangerous times, man. It's a good way to wake up. And tonight, I felt dangerous. Yeah. Yeah. Should we also make mention that this is the end of the world podcast? Are we going to all die? Yeah. Tonight. Sweet. Tonight. Oh, yeah. shit. That's right. Asteroid's going to slam into the Earth and Dude, kill I us all tonight. Dude, I saw something on 13 ABC about the, how, how close yeah. they're coming to Earth. We're all going to die. Sweet. Is it like 2 billion miles away? Or? No, it's going to cry like 4 miles away. 4? Four? 4 miles away. Four? I think it's just going to slam into us, to be honest. Oh, yeah. It's Thank literally the Why end did of the I world? not hear about this? Yeah, you haven't been on top of them conspiracy theory podcasts no, like dude. I have. No. I'm calling off work tomorrow. Four miles away. You're uh, not going to have to call off, obviously, because <laughs> it sounds like there won't be one. <laughs> I just know that they're keeping track of a bunch of stuff that's flying directly at us. Dude, this fucking we're just in a, huge. We're just in a shooting gallery. Yeah, it's like a mile across. Yeah, it's ridiculous. You know, I, I did see something about that on the interwebs today, but I didn't know it was like yeah, it's supposed for to, today. It's I th- supposed to be like deep impact when we wake up Ooh. tomorrow. I thought it was supposed to be if we if we wake up tomorrow if we wake yeah, up right, tomorrow right. should I say yeah it'll be nuclear winter guys it'll be cool do I need to call my family <sighs> let's just try to make it through this podcast I here. mean I've been through, <laughs> I, I've been through the rapture I've been through nine yeah. eleven yeah I've been plagues Y two K locusts Y two K was We're the getting dumbest through one. Corona. <laughs> oh it's going to change from ninety nine to two thousand let's yeah. get freaked out over nothing that's right <laughs> Jeez. continue the same. Yeah, yeah. Tonight should be the night we driving down to Florida again. That fucking sailboat. Oh no, we're taking the fucking train, dude. That's right. Remember? Oh I, yeah. So yes. uh, just a you uh, got the keys to it. right? I got a key too. Yeah. Joe, Joe gave me a key. You got one? Well, Aubrey. Yes, yeah. I have a key. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> it's so weird. A recap on our our little uh, yeah. Get out of Dodge bug out plan. The bug out plan. Choo choo, motherfucker. We, we, we figured it out. That's right. I got a train key. We're fucking rolling. There's tons of fuel in that bitch already. And we're just going to kill zombies the whole way. <laughs> Not as long the... as we don't get fired for speeding. That's oh, right. yeah. Just blast that horn and you're fine, dude. <laughs> yep. Pedal to the metal. Yep. Well, that's the thing. Are people going to like try and block tracks? What the fuck are they going to put on the track? They ain't going to get removed by you know, X amount of Better tons be a of building. train. <laughs> and yeah. then we derail. Yeah. Well. Yeah. I think, I think <laughs> literally all you got to do is take a crowbar and just pop, oh. a, pop it off and you're derailed. Nope. It's not going to be that hard. I think it's when you leave a penny on the tracks. Yes. Oh, yeah. That's yeah. what I was told. It's one penny. Yep. <laughs> it just goes. Yeah. <laughs> it just I, used to, away. <laughs> I used to tape like four pennies and a quarter. Yeah. Oh, and, my, and Rachel, uh, my. You're Rachel's, a rebel. Rachel's grandpa was always yelling, you're going to derail that goddamn train <laughs> off that nickel, son of a bitch. Yep. 
I don't know. I took it over a sweet jump. What if I put this Susan B. Anthony on that bitch? Oh, shit. That's an expensive smasher. Hey, man. If you can derail a train with it. That's right. Yeah. You derail a train, you can dodge a ball. So, yeah. To get deep right off the bat, it's yeah. going to make some deep impact. And we're going to have a an asteroid slam into us. Yeah. I don't think it's going to happen. It's mm. going to set off the caldera and Yellowstone. Ooh. And then the sun's going to fart. And yeah. then it's over. I, I so. really think I'm still going to wake up and eat bacon eggs tomorrow. And there's going to be UFOs. I hope so. The I, UFOs are going to be watching. They're all going to come hover right outside of Earth to watch the event. That's funny that you said the world's going to end because they just released those videos. I know, man. I thought you what videos? watched that. The UFO videos. I the Pentagon released. Declassified Navy videos. More stuff? Oh, here's the thing. The TikTok one? If you've been paying attention, you've already or seen TikTok all three one? of them. Yeah. They already did. The Fast Mover. There's a, there's two others that were, they're all, you, if you've been watching, you've seen them all already. I, I watched oh, them all. There, the one that really got me was the one down by the ocean. The low there, level the one. Waves. Yeah, it's fucked like, up. Ooh. I heard that, that, I think that was the guy that was on Rogan that talked to him about it, though. Tom DeLong. Yeah. yeah. No, no, no. Not Tom DeLong. The retired oh, uh, Lazar. pilot. Oh, yes. No. Yes. Bob Lazar. No, he's no. a retired uh, pilot uh, from the, um, the military pilot and he was on with him and talked about they had to like use they had to take it off of tracking and just track it themselves manually, manually yeah. because it was actively jamming everything that they were throwing at it Fuck yeah! and um because they, they got technology son yeah it was uh they had a, a waypoint like 60 miles away south in their training exercise that they were going to go go to rally do whatever they were doing coming back so they find this thing over the water he's like what the fuck is that down there they start watching it, it starts moving and it's moving fat. They're like, okay, that's not right. So they're all laughing to each other, talking about it. And they're like, and they're like, they're, hey, they, we can see a whole fleet of them, Ooh. like in their radar. They could see it way farther off. So when they were done, and they were like, okay, we lost it, blah blah blah. And they sh- they were like, what should we do? And they were like, well, we had this rally point, you know, the sixty miles, blah blah blah. And they're like, should probably go wipe my ass because I just shit. Hey, myself. how about how about this? <laughs> it was it was when they checked. It was. When they were the, where they were, it was sitting at their waypoint 60 miles away. Wow. That's where it came up on radar. Dude, how do you just not instantly shart? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like You're like, oh, yeah. this is something I've never seen before. Isn't yeah, it? yeah. It's a good one. Especially all them G-forces, man. That's already pushing shit out of you, right? No doubt. <laughs> Got a squeeze suit. <laughs> Get that squeeze suit. Oh, shit. Yeah, I, I did not know that that was current news well how about this man here we are in 2020 if this was five years ago and on cnn and all the like big you know news if they had released hey we got three ufo videos that the navy's releasing is there new ones the or? country would have melted down dude people would have oh, been like yeah. oh my god now people are like yeah i saw that too anyways did you hear that <laughs> like they don't nobody gives a fuck about anything well it's uh it's not scare tactics but it's like uh like distraction where, area yeah distraction like yeah. like this covid shit's going on so they can release other stuff just kind of sprinkle, sprinkle it, in. it in there yeah. Oh, yeah and then people are just like oh squirrel squirrel yeah exactly <laughs> yep exactly. Ooh, chrome <laughs> shiny look <laughs> let's follow that yep so is there actual new videos that have been released like uh, as of recently, or they're saying new, but I've seen them all. Okay. I've I, that's what I'm saying. I've seen I've seen the, the, I've seen the exact one. everything they posted is exactly yeah. everything. It's all I've stuff seen. that's okay. been out there for yeah. a while. If you're a tinfoil hat looking wearing right fucker, right? That's the same word. Yeah. Okay, when was this released? Did it say yesterday? That's the same. Hmm. Is that the low level one over the water? Oh, we gotta watch commercials. Gotta get through an ad. <clears throat> Speaking of ads, yeah, yeah. Tyner, hit us up. What's our reads out today? Sponsors, yeah. Today we are sponsored by Lux Bidet, as always, for your finest ass spring washing needs. Keep your bum hole clean, folks. And, and uh, also, don't worry about the toilet paper shortage. Lux Bidet. Lux Bidet. The Neo yeah. One Twenty. Neo. 120. Amazon bestseller. Bestseller. Right. We're also sponsored by Giuseppe's Pizza. I'm gonna do this voiceover thing for you. I Giuseppe's love, dude, Pizza. I need the disclaimer at the end of stuff too. Warning, please do not <laughs> eat Giuseppe's Pizza. You will get massive diarrhea. Not a chance, man. The <laughs> finest joking, pizza joking. in Monroe County. Um also sponsored by Pornhub for getting everybody through Ooh. this nice little little uh holiday we've all been on. Dude, Thank- I heard Pornhub like Thank you, Pornhub. Like hired a bunch of people. 
It's just like <laughs> I'm every, sure every, they no, had to. I'm dead serious. Grade. I'm dead serious. Like because everyone's like home, everyone's jacking off. So oh, yeah. they had to like they know our. They, hey, well, first of all, they uh, gave everybody a premium. Yes, they uh, did. Premium, I, premium for a month. That. Oh, for free. Damn, why free. are you? Well, why do people pay for the porn? Hey, I don't. Man. Like We're you talking, just you just wait a week and it's it's you can just search. You're it. speaking a foreign language to me. Like, what I do know you, nothing of that. What do you, why do you pay for porn? <laughs> <laughs> just wait for a week. And then our last sponsor for the day is Zatarain's Fish Fry, yes. making the best catfish possible. New Thank Orleans. You. Thank you, Zatarain's. Zatarain. For the taste of New Orleans. We need a brewer here to do that jingle. Remember oh, he did yeah. that jingle? Hi, I Rick. No, no, no. He did the Zatarain's. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah, that was he, they were sponsoring us before we even knew about it. Yeah, man. So thank you, all of our sponsors. Yes. Thank you. Uh, com. Check us out. We're on the interwebs on all the local social media platforms. Instagram, thing. Twitter. Twitter. Facebook, supposedly. Facebook, supposedly. I'm just Scott, by the way. That's right. <laughs> Once again, did not introduce yeah, yourself. Yeah, I'm good at it. Uh, what else we got? Anything? We got any news? Any fancy any emails? Business or to attend to? Hate mail or anything? No. No? No, it's been pretty well, quiet. Well, there's, we got one from Captain Captain. I don't know who that is. Yeah. He just said he wants money. That's all. Give me so, money. He said, he said hi, money. I need money. Hey, I said the same thing. I was like, damn, we should hang out. <laughs> damn, we, I shit, need we've been money. friends ever since. <laughs> that email was actually for me. Uh, hi, I need money. <laughs> Send it to 119. <laughs> Put it in the mailbox. Yeah. That was me. Hell yeah. I need money. Yeah, man. Thank you. All of us do. Yep. Uh, there what, it is. Right what here. movie was that? I wrote that. Hi, Did you really? Uh, how high? Yeah. Did you? No, that I didn't write oh, that. No, <laughs> that. Jonathan. That, yeah, that was no how name. high. That was how high. Yeah. Yeah. That guy. That dude. What's his name? Jonathan what? Just Jonathan. Oh, Jonathan. He gave us a, a are we badass? He one. Said, that's a one. That's like a maybe. Don't like, quit a your little day, bit. day job. Negative two. Yeah. So, well, we're working on it. We're doing the best we can, guys. <laughs> this is coming from a guy that needs money. I, I like money. <laughs> It's the, it's the Corona Apocalypse times, you guys. Things yes. are rough. Yes, yes. Thank goodness we're providing all this content. Um, uh, I guess before we get into it, or we just can't get right into it, we're going to be talking antiquated technology today. <laughs> yeah. Shit that don't exist no more. But if it exists, it's super outdated. Right. And not used, for the most part. Antiquated yeah. technology. Antiquated technology. Shit that don't exist no more that our kids would have no fucking clue. Stuff that had its time. Yeah, yeah. Things that were very Thomas Edison-y, I guess They're you could def- say. They have been predecessors to what we currently use. And it's shit that we grow up, grew up with that yeah. was regular as fuck. You know yeah. what I'm saying? That we thought would never go away. Yeah. Just be, always be like that. Yeah. So, I mean, we could start out with like uh, the electronics or... Whatever. I mean, the the thing that comes to my mind right off the rip is fucking phone booths. Phone booths. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah, or just pay phones in general. Pay phone, phone have booth. To be a booth, yeah. Yeah. I remember there being booths at, like, uh, like restaurants and stuff so you could, like, get yeah. in and close out the noise. Uh, I do remember there being booths at the hospital for some reason. Yep. Yeah. Hospital used to have phone Well, then booths. they just started putting, like, dividers. Right. Up yeah, then you just them. got the partition in between. Um, Payphone banks. I've had at the mall, man. Yeah. 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 When you walk out the exit, there's like solid this payphones. Well, that was pre-cell phone. I mean, yeah, no doubt. Or like cell phones were just coming out as they were starting to. Well, if they were, you were bringing it around in a briefcase, and you got cancer (laughs) right away, pretty (laughs) much too, from all the radiation. Yeah, it X-rayed your leg for you Mm -hmm. while you were using it. Yeah, how's Zach Morris still alive? I'm big. I mean, I don't (laughs) shit that thing. He should have died. Like that thing was even like pretty. Advanced for like some of the bag phones that like, yeah. we started out with, you know. Do you remember pagers? Oh yeah. Oh fuck yeah. yeah. I never had one. I had one. Yeah. I mean, everybody had yeah. one. I just didn't. They were dumb. <laughs> yeah, dude. Kind of. I no, mean... dude. My buddy. My buddy. Coffee Cody. Yeah. Cigarettes. <laughs> Still got no, cigarettes now. Dude, my buddy had a pager. Like you actually could actually call someone and like relay the message. And it like would like read back. Yeah, you to could text. It would read it, dude. We would say some weird shit like, "Hey, like tell like old dirty bastard that we need a fucking twelve pack of natural light like right now." <laughs> and this and this fucking like it was an operator, yeah. And he had to type this shit in like, 
He's like, all Somebody right. Somebody would have to read that? Yes. Well, I know there dude. used to be like It a, was great, dude. There used to be like a speech to text thing for like uh, deaf people. Oh, this, that still exists. I yeah. Think. yeah. Yeah. And people use that shit all the time to fuck around. No, yeah. this was. We called this place and the operator would have to like relay the whole message to his pager and it would like come would out come on across it. And he, like a and he had to re- Dude, we would say some wild shit. Like I said, like. ODB needs fucking a twelve pack and yeah. uh, and all this shit and uh, and the operator would be like, well, how do you spell all this shit? Like, figure it out. Figure yeah. this shit. It's ODB. It needs twelve pack. <laughs> and fucking Ryan would get this like message on his like pager and he'd read it like, what is wrong with these people? Like, <laughs> I'm like, what's wrong? You're reading it. You know how we are. What's this operator going through? Right. Like <laughs> dude, he like, has to type this shit in to send it to your pager. Trying dude. to decipher yeah. them hieroglyphics. <laughs> dude, it was hilarious. No doubt. Well, let's talk about the predecessors to even that, that where we got to phone booths. We're talking about, it wiped out about three things before that, right? The telegraph. Oh, yeah. That telegraph was pre-phone, went. but it was, yeah, that was like the messages heyday. through wire, you know? and then That was the heyday of uh, railroading. Sure. That, I think that's where a lot of that came from, too. Yeah, well, I mean, it was a form of communication over long distance with, um, you know, really no delay in... Yeah, well, I mean, uh, before you could actually speak and you how know. do you? I mean, horse and buggy is like the only other fucking yeah, way. Send a dude on a horse. Real. Yeah, do some Morse code. Yeah, <laughs> Your courier services. You know. Yeah, that's how that all that shit got started. Yeah, I had to take uh, my uh, for work. I had to get my FCC license. Yeah, and uh, thank God I did not have to take that fucking Morse code test, dude. Right, that wasn't required anymore. It used to be, I guess. You but. only know S and O. Dude, I don't know any of them, dude. <laughs> Wouldn't you want to do that, though? I thought it would be pretty cool to just know. I'd know. I'd, I'd like to know it, but I've never fucked with it. And, I, dude, my hard drive's already full, bro. You <laughs> like, don't I got, remember dot, 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 dash, dash, dash. No, I'm just saying, if someone's no, paying me SLS. to learn learn that shit, sign me up. I'd love it. And see, my dad grew up uh, ham radio. That's another one that's going to the wayside, yeah. too, man. I mean. I used to drive truck, man. I was on that CB, bad boy. Yeah. Oh, yeah, dude. I used breaker, to breaker CB, one nine. CB in my bedroom, dude. Fucking. Just jacking with people, fucking shit talking, being a going past in the hammer lane. We got a bear down there. Disco lights are on, and it's I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> like you know what I'm saying? Like 13 in my bedroom. Yeah. Like people are like, what is going on here? Right? Any lot lizards? We, uh. yeah. we used to do at the marina and get the truck drivers and shit involved. Like, hey, what's going on out there? Right? Well, what the fuck are you doing? Are you like 12? Yeah, hell yeah, I'm 12. Yeah. What are you doing? Why are you talking to 12 year old? That was before it wasn't accepted. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> Is it now? No. Nope, still before no. Before it was accepted. Still no. Yeah. Maybe I didn't word that right. It wasn't now. frowned upon quite as much. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, there's, uh, yeah, but like ham radio, that's, dude, I mean, everything's digital now. There's, yeah, I can see when the shit hits the fan, that could be like a last source communication type thing. You're like, I'm glad I saved this transistor. Well, because uh, a lot of it... Um, the repeaters are privately owned, right? Which people would upkeep them just to have communication going. It's not like you know, like the cell towers. If it gets shut down, you're fucked, right? You know, zero communication. GPS. I think if like, I think we talked about last last week, the satellites would still be online, but our equipment talking to the satellites right would, would not, not be communicating know. back. Well, it might or might not. Yeah, I think it would be probably pretty shoddy. But yeah. You know, after this asteroid hits, then we're going to have to go back to that hand radio days. <laughs> I need to learn my fucking SOS, I guess, huh? <laughs> dot, 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 dash, dash, Should dash, took dot, that class, dot, dot. Scott, for free. I'm saying, man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man. Should have had it a part of that FCC license class. Yeah, yeah. I had the FCC for dummies, pretty much, I guess. Right. It was only, like, two sections of the of the requirements, I guess. Did you have a specific, like, payphone that you would use? Uh um, think about it. Did you have like a favored payphone that you're like, I'll go to that one? I had one. I always grew up across next or right either across the street or next door to a party store. Yeah. Or like a whatever store, liquor right. store. Yeah, I'd use those. Yeah. I'd always try and jack money out of them and stuff. Yeah, oh and yeah. Like, you gotta, wasn't there like some kind of like sequence? Gotta try to hustle it, man. Some kind of sequence you used to be able to do to get free calls? Yes, there was, but I don't think anybody knew. I didn't know about that until way later. When 911 was a free call. Free, always a free call. Oh, yeah. yeah. 911. Yo, well, <laughs> dude, I've made some sketch 911 calls, dude. 
nine one one just dipped the fuck out. Dude. Dude. It's like those blue da- the blue light phones, like in downtown air cities. Oh, I was calling Picking from up the, for, the no. pay phones. I used to work uh, at an auto auction up in uh, in Detroit area. Yep. And uh, I'd call on my lunch breaks. I always call nine one one. You know what I'm talking about, though. <laughs> For the fuck of it, yeah, there's fucking power lines down <laughs> everywhere. Oh my god, you gotta get here quick. <laughs> what you just, like, What's your address, sir? Seventy two oh nine Johnson Avenue or whatever. Yeah. So what do you do? Is like eat a bologna sandwich? I'm just gonna call nine one one. Yeah, and dude. See what the oh, dude, it was like my daily thing for a while, dude. <laughs> I'm gonna eat this sandwich and I call nine one one. You were god. such a waste of fucking I was, civic. The? I was a piece of shit. Uh, services. <laughs> what is that what they call it? Civic. Hey, services? man. I'm not. I can't justify the way I can't I condone acted. my former actions <laughs> and my former self. <laughs> like, no, you know what I'm talking about? The blue light phones? Blue light phones. Yeah, they're yeah, like those the, the emergency are... phones. Yeah, I'm the like, one you get at like oh, free offices highways. and shit. Yeah, when you get, oh, when you're yes. getting raped, you got to like run yeah, and grab one phone, and say, bro. motherfucker, I'm getting raped. Yeah, the University of Toledo has them all over the yeah, place. Well, yeah, Detroit, yeah. anywhere in Detroit, yeah. is like uh, Wayne State, stuff like that. Yep. So the one of the funniest <laughs> things I at this point, I don't know why, I, I still think it's funny to this day. The, I walk past one. I'm thinking it was in Detroit. It says, phone out of order. Keep running. Sweet. <laughs> Keep running. I was like, yeah, that's a good joke. Work right. 60% of the time every time. That's right. When uh, <laughs> when I was a kid and my mom would drop me off at the library. <clears throat> What's that? Like, yeah. yeah. Antiquated technology. <laughs> like, is. I still go there. I take the kid there. Yeah, call, like me, the library. call me when you want to get picked up. So I would call the operator. Yep. And when it would say, please say your name, I'd say, pick me up. <laughs> exactly. And I'd wait a few seconds and I'd hang up. And my mom would be there in like 15 minutes. I'm not paying no one for this. <laughs> well, no, she wouldn't give me no quarters. Not Figure long. it out. Free okay, 99. Right. <laughs> I heard a guy's calling from prison with the same exact thing where they're like, the, the prison call comes through. is like, you have a message from, I love you guys. I'll see you in a good <laughs> Yep, yep. That's probably, a, that's probably a quick jerk off real quick. Yeah. <laughs> Wife, listen to this real quick. This is my balls hit my leg. <laughs> Toodles. <laughs> see you later. Yeah, that's more of a prison call, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's yeah. a jerk off. This You get like four, four seconds. <laughs> Just moan into the mic. <laughs> oh, my God. No, uh, the, the uh, not to get off prison Pete calls. No, we whatever, already got but, off. Uh, on it. Yeah, we did. Well, uh, I got off. I want to rebuild a uh, old school British phone booth, the old red yeah, one. Yeah, like the dude. What are they called? You can make some money off. You've been things. talking this, oh, about I'm this sure. for a minute, man. I've, this I've been wanting to do this for years and years. I man. know. Um, yeah, the, the uh, dude. You get the old ones just off like eBay and shit. They go for shit tons of money. Oh, I can only imagine. And they're all fucked up and shit. I, I just want to build one from scratch. And just put something. Mm-hmm. It probably wouldn't even be a phone in it at that point. I'd probably put, just put, put a Nintendo. Put yeah. a Nintendo, Nintendo in there. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. I know. You need a ColecoVision in there. Yeah, dude. Some Pong or something, yeah, man. Something, no, something the, old. Put a fucking Game Boy in there. Dude, be great, dude. dude. You know, there's a Game Boy yeah. sitting right next to my bed right now. A OG one? Yeah, OG. Really? My wife, she she played Tetris on uh, Harrison, had like a little, one of those simulators that's got like 80 games on it. Yeah. That looks like a Game Boy. She's like, it's just not the same. So, no. of course, a couple weeks later, one shows up on the doorstep with two uh, two versions of Tetris and the original everything. I nice, mean, nice. My wife has the original Game Boy, the case, everything. Dude, it's so yeah. legit as hell. Oh, yeah. I was like, what is this? She's like, well, you didn't see this when I was moving in? She put it in the corner. I'm like, we're cleaning out No, the- but I'm about to start playing this, bitch. What's yeah. up? Well, I, I go down there, and we're moving all this shit around, and next thing you know, I'm like, what is this? She's like, well, it's my Game Boy. Pop that bitch up. It's like, oh, shit. It's like pearls, dude. Nice. Out of my- nice. I'm like, what? It's got the glow like uh, oh, Marcellus dude, Wallace's it was briefcase. Like, dude, it was a gl- <laughs> hell yeah. It was like finding gold. I'm like, uh, are yeah. you serious right nice. now? The original everything, dude. Hell yeah. The only original console I got is my Super Nintendo. Do you? Yeah. That's cool. Yeah. Yeah, this I, I she didn't even want the the Game Boy color. She wanted like original OG yeah, Game Boy, straight yeah. up. I was yeah. like, that's dope. That LCD yeah. black and white screen. Yeah, yeah, with the little like no the, light or nothing. No, it's just got like the little <laughs> a, a little bit darker, a little bit lighter, like the contrast yeah. knob on you it. You just adjust contrast, not brightness. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, actually, uh, a few years back, I made uh, they make these little mini computers called Raspberry Pis. Mm-hmm. I programmed a bunch of, uh, I got pretty much any Atari, 
Nintendo, Super Nintendo, and Sega game Ooh, under man. the sun on there. Everything that's ever been oh, made, that pretty Bill much. Wash College Football '95 dude, on there. It's dude. got mm. everything, and I finally just brought it upstairs, to let Gunner play it, because I had I had dreams of building an arcade cabinet for it. I still haven't got there, but that's one of these days. That's after the phone booth, probably, or maybe yeah. I could just turn the put that in there. The simulator, yo. I can make a two-man phone booth. Well, I want to make like a four-player setup, so I do like Ninja Turtles. How about you and, buy you uh, make four of them, and then you put them like so you got to face into the inside face corner, face each other. Yeah, in the <laughs> in the booth. You know what I'm pissed off about all this is that every kid that plays a Nintendo game has no clue what we went through. Mm. Blowing in oh, that thing, lick, oh, yeah. licking Fucking the cartridge, licking it. You're trying to stomp on that, <laughs> wiping bitch. it down with what? alcohol. I mean, you're doing weird shit, like things that your mom would walk in, like, "What are you doing, dude?" Like, we started I'm, out I'm with a try- little a little uh, seance over top credit of credit card first. your butt with it. I'm just trying to play voodoo. some Contra tonight, dude. Like. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Like, they have no fucking clue, like, what we went through. They just struggle was real. Well, I used to have to plug it in and call it a day. My Nintendo, I used to have to barely put the the cassette or the the game into there and then push it down to where it, like, hit the front, Mm -hmm. like, where it was, like, barely in there. That that was, like, the sweet spot on that one. Every everyone had a different sweet spot, though. So, every Nintendo built had a different sweet spot. I don't care. It was just like. You know, a lot of our original cars, it's like, look, this thing's not going to start unless you bang the dashboard right here and jiggle the keys first, and then you got to pump the brake twice, stomp on the gas yeah, and turn dude. the key, and boom, it fires up. Old motorcycles are the same, too, dude, man. Dude, my, like old my, six, my and CBR, and stuff. dude, my CBR6, do you remember the that black one I had? Yeah, yeah. Man, that thing was... You had a ritual to start that. I thing, had yeah. to, yeah, dude, I had to do voodoo before I even got on it. <laughs> Yeah, same yep. thing with my Nintendo. You, do you, <laughs> not to side note, you still got a bike? Uh, I have pieces. You, nothing running. Nothing though? rideable. Yeah, no. Yeah. yeah, I wasn't sure. Yeah. I, I was talking to one of my buddies the other day. I'm about in the it. process. Yeah. 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 In the process, I got to get that one gone before I can replace it with something that actually runs. That's my right. Right. I'm down to basically a roller frame, so yep. I don't have much to go. So back to the. The Nintendo thing. I think Nintendo was the only system that was like that, though, right? Because I never had any issues with Atari. Sega. Atari, Atari, Atari was really the same thing. Atari never, had a, a. Sometimes you had to jiggle the. You Atari had to jiggle Atari. Atari. Yeah. yeah, but it wasn't yeah. like nothing. It was like nothing. The Nintendo. You, no, I never remember like blowing a fucking t- uh-uh. in the Atari. Game. Right, it was either. just boom. Hold up. You guys remember the Atari ET game? Yeah, yes, that I was the do. biggest when piece had a, of when shit. neck went up and down and yeah. stuff. Yeah, that was yeah. the biggest piece of shit game ever invented, I think, dude. <sighs> Did you play the Journey game? Um, I don't know. I got it inside. I, dude, I've got thousands of dude, games inside. There is a Journey it, game. Well, that you plug like in a, your TV and that's it. It's got like it. the Scarab What's Beetle. That? You got the original Atari? No, no. I, like I said, I programmed this computer. It has all the original games on it. So you can, uh, you Just can look access. It up. Just look whatever. You can play yeah. any game. Yeah. A T. E.T. was just like his oh, neck, yeah, his got neck. Fucking Oh, right. yeah. <laughs> it's like, it's it's like when he ever. jumped, right? Yeah, that's it's how like, he jumped. He yeah. Like, or he like rose. I, yeah. I don't think he jumped. He just went. That game yeah. was yeah. Yeah. terrible. Yeah, You're right. It was a piece of crap, dude. Yeah. I tried playing it not that long ago. I'm like, this is the most pointless piece of shit ever. <laughs> but it was the shit back in the day. Hey, all right. So this does have stuff to do with what we're talking about. I, I used to have a Commodore 64. Mm-hmm. And you used to have to fucking. Put the flop, the five and a half inch. Yeah, man. This ain't the, the three and a half inch floppy disk. Floppy disk. The bendy floppy disk. Yes, five and a half inch. And then you got to click the little click thing it over in front close. of it. Yes, sir. Fire that up. And then you had to do like DOS style yeah. commands. You had to, to go through a menu, and it used to go syntax error, yeah. syntax error. And I'm like, fuck you, syntax error. Just fucking play the goddamn game. I'm like, this is uh, enough of this shit, dude. I haven't thought about that for fucking syntax ever. That's error. Fucked up. I didn't have a Commodore 64. We, my parents were teachers, so we always had Apple stuff. It was oh yeah, pretty similar to yep. the process. Yeah, but I remember, dude. Do you remember? It game? wasn't even Apple then. It was just Macintosh. Yeah, right? it was just Mac. Yeah. Um, it was. Do you remember? Well, no. Because it was like the Apple IIe was like the old big one that would all the schools had. I never had any old school apples. I, the one school I went to high school at had. Uh, Do you remember old playing Max. like the the road race game? I don't know you was play like left and right to move yeah, the little snake through the. Yep. We had all that shit. But uh, do you remember a game called Montezuma's Revenge? Uh no, dude. If the from what I can best remember, I know it was on a Commodore. I remember I didn't have it, but. 
this this girl that lived in my neighborhood did. And we would play it. It was kind of like a Cody. Look up Commodore sixty four. Yeah, I've never even heard one of those. No, really, dude. Commodore. It's was it made by IBM? No, it was its made own by entity. Commodore. Okay. Yeah. So, um, yeah, but it ahead. like this Montezuma's Revenge. I want to say it was like almost like a precursor to like Doom. <laughs> Look at that. It worked. Doom or Transylvania or kind of like it was like a game where you had to go through like a like a castle basically like Montezuma's you know like yeah, Montezuma yeah, yeah. Mexican yep, like yep. go through these like almost like I guess what Chichen Itza would look like a temples yeah. kind of and go through and like oh you got you got to like get torches and all this other shit <laughs> Cody's <laughs> like what's what's this it's a keyboard it's the Commodore sixty four. No, so that that was pretty much the computer that we had a monitor, and then we yeah, had like ju- that would just be hooked up to a monitor, separate floppy drive for it. And yeah, that was it. it would it just was... be a little box that set off to the yeah, side. Yeah. That, that's what you. <laughs> yeah, no, man. that's that. The other one was the one that I had. Can you look up Montezuma's Revenge? Video? Yeah, uh, uh, that's that's a newer one. Montezuma's Revenge. Uh, yeah, I want to check this thing out. A real computer quick, game, I guess it would be. It. Dude, they they actually uh, a lot of cats make synthesizers out of these now. Yeah, them and like the old Amiga computers no and stuff. Yeah, they make old old school like. I remember uh, the Amiga computer. Yeah, dude, uh, they make synth synthesizers. No shit. Yeah, dude. Yep. It's, whatever the processing, I'm not. I don't know the. Yeah. The ins and outs of it, but that, no, I, I totally that remember sweet. that before the before the plastic floppy the hard floppy disk the three and the, three there, and yeah quarter or whatever three yeah. and a half there was that five and whatever that was five the, and a half and three and a the quarter the actual like maybe I got a black backwards. plastic there you go tyler yep what is this here that's, that's yeah that's a that's drive. the disk drive that's for the disk it. Drive yeah. right there yep. the floppy disk yep you would stick that thing in there and you'd hear it start spinning inside there yeah. hey speaking of floppy disk the PC still come not floppy disks, floppy disks. <laughs> the PC still come with the floppy disk insert. No, they don't even come with a, a, D, a DVR one or a, oh. a, C, uh, a CDR uh, or whatever. I have, disk drive. Uh, disk drive. I have a floppy disk, which I'm kind of scared to look at it, but it says Cody's picks. Oh lord! Oh, yeah. Wow, it's a bunch. Oh, of, I've got a computer. Fuck. I got a computer over there. It's got one on it. You can get right, it in I there. Need to use that. Dude. Get it in. I'll let you have some alone some, time with I that. Need some private put time that first. disc. <laughs> put that disc in that slot. Yeah, because we'll all probably go to jail looking at that little wiener. <laughs> <laughs> just all hair, just a big bush. Just like, dude, a, why would you take a picture of yourself like uh, that? Just taking dick pics <laughs> back in the day. So this is how great this the Commodore sixty four was. I used to have a game. Called Zork, Z O R K. I know, I know that shit. And it was literally like you'd like after you got done syntax airing like yeah. twenty times, and you, you finally, finally got to it fucking in. load. It'd go, "You're in a forest. What do you want to do?" And then you have to say like, "Turn left." This is this yeah. what you played? Well, dude, do you remember yeah, right there? That's like pretty much. Well, it's like Green Trail yeah. or whatever the Oregon fuck. Trail. Oregon, Oregon Trail. Trail. I was just gonna say that's it's not just Green Trail. Say. Oregon, Oregon Trail. Same fucking thing. There was but, another one though. There was. But do you this remember? was just all text. There was no pictures at all. What was Zero it? Zero anything. It was just text. It's called Fallout. Maybe there was another one that, that was kind of for... like Oregon Trail, where it was. I think that's newer though. No, I'm semi newer. I'm talking about something where it, it's like a post-apocalyptic world that like yeah yeah. And you have to, like, it's just like Oregon Trail where it asks you the questions. You're like, you're coming to a split in the road. Did anyone ever you know, win that game? Fuck, no. I was terrible God, at it, man. Dude, you that, can't win that Was game. there a way to win it? I don't know. I, I just think you I think you see a squirrel. I think you, you eat, got to type, I, I think bang. The, I think how you win, you <laughs> eat, your, eat your wife. <laughs> oh, that's a well, win. That's like trying that's to win. That's the last thing. You just eat your wife. <laughs> Remember uh, wearing, the, wearing the world's car in San Diego? Oh, yeah, oh, that's, man. <laughs> that's like trying to beat that game, dude. dude. they made a TV show out of that fucking game. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, I do remember that. Dude, yeah, we used to have... Yeah, it's called America's Most Wanted. I wish we still had it. <laughs> I think my parents ended up garage sailing all that shit, dude. Um, we used to have... Uh, oh, shit. It's going to fucking kill me now. It'll probably be worth fucking shit tons of money now. Uh, not Guardians of the Galaxy, but uh, the old Galaxy shit. Uh, Galaga? 42. 42. The number 42. Um... Shit. Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy oh. for Commodore 64. Really? Dude, yes. I never even heard of that shit. Sky, I'm Hitchhiker's a Guide to the Galaxy? No. Oh, dude, that's cult, Are cult you shit. What was, that, yeah, was that on? It what was it on? It, there's actually a, there's a, a, movie, a new yeah. movie yeah. out about it. But yeah, it was an old book. No shit. Yeah. yeah. Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. And it came with like all these little pamphlets and stuff and booklets. Dude, it probably... You're gonna have to look up Montezuma's Revenge to see this game. We got Cody working on Overdrive. Yeah, yeah the sorry. Raspberry Pi. Is yeah, what... I'm gonna have you make me one of those. Yeah, yeah. I, can I do just it. need to know um, 
what yeah, I you got, need. I got uh, all the programming shit for it, so it's I dope. I'll let you go play it uh, either is that later what, or next um, time. Aubrey and Gunner were playing that one day. No, no. Was that just just the Nintendo? I, I have. Uh, it's like a Super Nintendo and a Nintendo in one. It uses the old cartridges. Okay, yeah. yeah. So yeah. Tyler was building those Raspberry Pis. Yeah. And he said at that time they were only like eighty bucks to build. Yeah, they're. Is, I don't remember what the Raspberry Pi costs, but it's it's super cheap. Dude. Yeah. You just get some USB controllers, and yeah. that's about it. Nintendo dude. controllers or whatever? They got to be USB programmable. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. yeah. Hmm. But yeah, it's it's. I think you can get get it done for under a hundred bucks. So, can I can I switch gears here to yeah. to bring up a weird a weird I'll, I'll call that it would be out of your element, dude. A weird technology that's <laughs> out of use, but it What's also that? is was is my favorite like antiquated technology. What's that? It's it's what streetlights replaced. Gas lamps. The moon tower. Moon tower. Party at the moon tower, man. I don't know what you're talking about. So. We didn't even barely see. I remember seeing moon towers, but like I never used a moon tower per se. Street lights were I don't even around. know what you're talking about. So back about. before there was like street lights, they'd make a moon tower where there was a big, huge, tall tower with a light that would be on it just to provide some like ambient light for a bigger area. Right. Before there was like, you know, street. Obviously, there's always been gas lamps and stuff like that. Yeah. But for like places farther out that didn't have like the municipality to, to handle like lighting all the streets and stuff, they would make what was called a moon tower. So you remember in uh, Dazed and Confused Party at the Moon Tower? Oh, yeah. They go all go out to that fucking spot where that was the moon tower. So it was like hmm. not daylight underneath it, but it was like, you know, light enough that you could see pretty much whatever. And it would that light would broadcast, you know broadcast itself out a good area because it was higher up right so they used to have like you know in like more rural areas they'd call them a moon t- it was called the moon tower Dude, and it would I basically look like so it was just a big ass light it was a big ass light on top of a big it would look like the high tension lines but it would have a giant okay. light on the top of it yeah like one of those you know, kind of Eiffel like Tower each looking. town stand. had one or something? Each or? town would have one. God, dude. I'd, smaller town or whatever. You that's know? beyond me, man. That's antiquated so, as fuck. That's antiquated as fuck, you know. But, like, obviously there's always been streetlights, but when's the last time you saw a moon tower? You know what I mean? Uh, never. you never seen one? <laughs> no, dude. Oh, I've seen one. I've look, seen uh, water towers. That's about it. Look up a moon tower, to- to- Toby. Toby. <laughs> Cody. <laughs> Tobias. Look up. <laughs> Toby. Is that Montezuma's Revenge right there? Yeah, Fuck it is. Yeah. yeah. That's exactly what it yeah, was. I used to have a, a wizard game for Commodore 64 that looked like that. Yep. I think it was, I can't win, wi- Wizards and Dungeons or something weird sounding. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, man. But yeah, the Moon Tower, like that scene. I got nothing, man. That scene from Dazed and Confused, that's at a Moon Tower. Yeah. Like that was, you know, it was just something that. It was more, you know, it would broadcast. You wouldn't have to put up a, a street light every block. It would just be a moon tower in the right. middle of, you know, a bunch of. Hey, you you want to know a funny one? I always remember because I always. A moon tower? That's cuss. a moon tower right okay. there, yo. Okay. Yeah. Uh, party at the moon tower. Fair enough, dude. Uh, a thing I always remember from back in the day, or like 90s, maybe early 80s or late 80s, uh, answering machines. Oh, oh, hell yeah. <laughs> Dude, that was a form of entertainment. For sure. You could be like just leaving stupid shit, Whether like recordings it's the, on there. the ingoing or outgoing message. To be fair, the you know how many one. people spent like hours making their fucking answering machine message? Like Dude, the people that would one, answer though. it be like, hello. Exactly. Hey. That's exactly what I was yeah. going to say. Then you'd be there for Hello? 30 seconds talking yeah. to him. Just and then... kidding. Leave a message. Yeah. <laughs> you you <laughs> motherfucker. <laughs> you suck. <laughs> I'm so angry right now. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Or, I mean, I had I had buddies that were wizards with leaving messages. Wizard. Like, you'd come home and, you know, you'd hit, you know, and it's like, Hello, this is so-and-so. It seems uh, Matthew Tyner has ordered X amount of blah, blah, blah. And it's like... Oh my god! Yeah. Dude. Oh yeah. I got a good Just one. Just leaving the craziest messages. We would go through when we had the the apartments when you and I worked at Papa John's. Yeah. yeah. We would have um, answering machine wars. Sweet. Because because you had nothing better. To Michael do. and Wesley lived across the hall from <laughs> me and Buck, and we would just call them up and it just go until it timed out. Yeah. Just 
And they were all on cassette tape, oh, too. Yeah. Remember that shit? Ours, that's, <laughs> that was towards the later end of it where yeah. they was digital, g- digitized where it was. But still, yeah. The there little, was only X amount little, of memory on the that. The little tiny cassette tapes that would yeah. go in them. Yeah, oh, yeah. the mini ones. I had ones that were like the full oh, cassette full size tapes, too. Yeah. yeah, I remember the mini yeah. ones, too. Well, dude, that's another one. Cassette tapes right there, dude. Mini cassette players, yeah. I got a couple cassettes left. From my old school, dude. I've dude, been. I, so I told many. you I've been selling all those cassettes on eBay, man. Your old school ones? I found, dude. I found like four boxes of cassettes. And you're selling them? Yeah. Why don't you keep them? Yeah, I don't. I don't need them, man. Man, I got that, Apple Music. Hey, bro, that's the same <laughs> thing. Like, I wish I had that shit from back in the day. Now, some of them, yeah. Like my old Thirty Six Chambers cassette tape, dude. I still that, got that oh, stuff, man. man. What are you, you talking? Save about? all that. I still dude, have all that. I got my first cassette. Still, I have. Here's the thing. I can I sell don't. those because I had no attachment to them. They weren't mine. What was your first cassette? Uh, Run DMC tougher than leather. You want to hear my shit? Uh, please say it's like Skinner or something, dude. You're Leonard Skinner, <laughs> MC Hammer. I was yeah. just about to say, mine's either MC Hammer, MC Hammer or Mick Hammer. Was it? Please, Hammer, don't hurt him. Is he goddamn yeah, right? It was that's right. Hey, yeah. So uh, this dude I work with, he's an older guy, and uh, I, I think, was either that or Appetite for Destruction. They were right around the same time. I think his his uh, granddaughter seen uh something said mc hammer and she's like huh mick she's like, what's mick hammer <laughs> well <laughs> i was uh, like yeah dude well, my, awesome. my my brother uh was a scriber of uh columbia house i think it was yeah when you remember used to, that shit you, columbia when, house and bmi when you used the to, cds when you used to well this is ta- this place. is tapes not no cds i think well, we covered this, this. subscription didn't we say yeah. didn't we cover scamming the shit out of them in a previous episode my brother scammed the fuck out oh of them, dude, dude i got dude i dropped my buddy Wes off, dude, like the first Guns N' Roses, and all, like, dude, still packed up and everything. Yeah, they're like, we'll ship you He'd 15 have, for a penny. I'm well, saying, yeah. Yeah, it's like, we would, like, order, like, nine, and you get, like, 45 CDs or, yeah. or tapes or yeah. something like just that. Just pay for the shipping. Yeah, just yeah. pay for the shipping. And, and you get a oh, free AOL cool. CD with oh, it. Oh, it, dude, it was great. <laughs> I got all this stuff, dude. Like, yeah. you get to a point where you're like, all right, yeah, might as well just get that, get that, get that. Oh, one. for I sure. Mean, that new Joe to see? What's up? I yeah. later, not, well, later on, I heard about my buddies. They were, like, just sending them to everybody's addresses. They had, like, <laughs> just, well, I'm spreading them out. <laughs> yep. Well, I brought... I brought Cody down to my dad's basement the one day, and this dude's so fucking hungover, dude. Oh, my God. I was like, dude, Cody, come over. We're, go through our cassettes and records and stuff. Oh, shit. And I bring him down in the basement. This dude's looking like white. Dude, like a ghost white. Yeah. Dude, he's so hammered. I was like, dude. He's turning gray. I'm like, dude, let's, you know, <laughs> he's like, all right, yeah, he's. I gotta throw up. Did you throw up before you came over? Yeah. In the front yard. <laughs> <laughs> and then I was in your dad's Greens. front yard dry heaving. It's out there chumming. We're, we're looking through like Ozzy Osbourne shit. And, and the fucking Cody's out there throwing up in the front yard. <laughs> like, I forgot about that. Dude, that's awesome. Good times. Chum in the front yard. That's right. Well, yeah, man. Uh, my brother scammed the shit out of them too, man. Oh, and you... then they're like, "Oh, he's not 18. And then the, no, they, was they not... tried like pressing charges. Yeah, you oh, can't dude. be held. To, dude. Can't be held. Yeah. Entered into a contract if you're a minor. Yeah, yeah. Sorry, I won't be sending you any money, dude. He used to get uh, pre-approved for like business loans and shit. <laughs> he had this fake company. He was like 10 years old. He had a fake company called Work in that system. It was called Electric Wires. <laughs> oh, get the fuck out of here! <laughs> I swear to God, dude. Dude, your brother's a gangster. Dude, that's so fucking hood, dude. It's so great. I love it. That is good. But yeah, the old subscription shit. What else? Uh, God, dude, I got it. I got a cool ass story. Yeah, hit it. Seriously, like we we're talking about, like a pager and all that shit, like calculators and all that shit. You know. Mm. But dude, remember you used to put boobs, you used to write <laughs> in, boobs the in the calculator. Dude, I'm dead. <laughs> this like, kick ass oh, oh, story. Five like, eight oh oh eight. <laughs> So seriously, I think it was like Christmas. I I might have been like third or fourth grade. I don't even know what the fuck it was. I opened this gift up. I was like, what the fuck is this thing? Scientific calculator. Dude, it's a watch calculator, dude. Yeah. One of them Casio. Oh. I had that Casio hookup. Dude, it's I got the whole face the whole face keyboard on it. And oh, that. shit. Yeah. I'm like, dude, yeah. I'm not. I'm not, I don't have to study ever again my whole life, dude. Yeah. Like, this is the fucking shit, dude. What are you so, doing? Uh, just checking the time, teacher. Yeah. That's so, all. No, I didn't. Like, when I got this shit, I'm like, dude, I don't. 
I didn't want to show no one. Like, so I bring it in the bathroom at Edgewater. Like, dude, look at this shit. Pew, 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 pew. Like, yeah, yeah like, equations and shit. And I'm showing it out there, and you always got that motherfucker in the background. Like, oh, you guys. Did you study or anything? I'm like, fuck no, I didn't study. I had this watch fucking calculator. I'm never studying it in my life, <laughs> got dude. got my smartwatch, That's Matt bitch. slamming yeah. a natty down. That's, yeah. That's the OG smartwatch. So you know, OG smartwatch. No, I'm dead serious. <laughs> so I'm like, fuck no, I got this calculator watch. I don't have to study for those. You get like 100 problems and you got to do it or whatever. Yeah, the time test. He's a time you, yeah. What dude, a bunch of turds. And I was, I, dude, I sucked at like seven, like seven times whatever and eight and that shit, you know. So I'm like in there. I'm like, yeah. Fives and nines were always easy. Fives, five nines, all that shit. Yeah. So my whole thing, I'm like, I, I sit in class. I'm like sitting there. I'm like, yeah, I don't know this problem. I'm like, deep, deep, deep. It had a beep deep. to I'm it. I'm like, motherfucker, <laughs> this thing beeps and the class is fucked. <laughs> that ruins my whole life. Uh-huh. Like it's fucked up. Like why did it, I'm I'm in bed playing this thing. <laughs> Didn't even think about it. I didn't even think about it. I'm playing with the light. Like, yeah, you got that fucking, like, the little the side li- light. The, the, little, the littlest bob in the world. Hey, hold up, hold up, hold up. <laughs> All you hear in the class is beep. beep, beep <laughs> yeah. Beep, Every fucking beep, person is like, oh, Matt Saban's is cheating over there. And then, yeah. then you get, like, a higher beep, <laughs> beep for the equals. The equal, it's like. <laughs> Every fucking person looking at me, I'm like, motherfucker, there goes my whole life. Uh, that's great. <laughs> it worked, for, it worked dude, for one problem. Dude, it, no, it didn't, work, it didn't work for a digit. <laughs> it was just done. Did you guys have uh, Channel One? Oh, hell school? yeah. So uh, Anderson Cooper. We had uh, Lisa, Lisa Lane. Channel, was, Lisa Lane. Yeah, Serena Alchul. I don't remember. Oh, yeah. Was that the red hair girl? No, that was the blonde who's, that went to MTV. The red hair chick? The one that went to MTV? Yeah, Serena Ochoa. Yeah. She Sounds was familiar. hot. She was hot. Um, Look went her to up, MTV, Cody. MTV on what? Look her up. She was a VJ was after it? she was on Channel One. I'm watching Matt about to light up another cigarette as he's got one burning. Oh, yeah, my bad. <laughs> Upgrade. <laughs> Just monkey fuck it, man. <laughs> fuck it. Yeah, dude. Keep it going. Um, last, last time I was there, I smoked two and a half packs. <laughs> and some of mine. <laughs> what was that? Ser- <laughs> Serena Outchul. Look her up. Who the fuck is that? Uh, she was a channel never one. never going to know how to spell that. Is that dude. the Chinese one? No. Nope. So that, uh, that was Lisa Ling. I think it's A-U-C-H-U-L. Yeah, something like that. U-L, maybe. You know who I always wanted to fuck was the Kennedy. Kennedy from yeah, she was MTV. Didn't yeah. she have curly hair with the glasses? Yeah, the glasses. She looked like, like Sideshow Bob. Yeah, dude. Kennedy was fucking uh-huh. hot, She looked dude. more like Lisa Loeb. Okay, fair enough. What do you need to know about yeah, Miss Serena? She looks angry. That is not her. There's no that's fucking her. way. No, that's not Kennedy. That's Serena that's Altschul. Her. Look up young Serena Altschul. Ooh. Channel 1. Ooh, what, what, yeah. Just like put Channel 1 behind her. Channel, so any, yeah. anyways, uh, this dude that I went to school with, he, he fucking brought a universal <laughs> remote in and started fucking with With the, the TV? Yeah, oh, dude, yeah. Before, like. I mean, they had just come out. I remember when that happened in my class. Yeah, dude. Now you, can, now, you can, yeah. now you can do it with your cell phone. He just shuts off the TV, and yeah. the teacher's like, oh, what, what, what's going what on here? Man? Can I see? Uh, the plug's it plugged in. Okay, check. Um, the, <laughs> the, We got good signal. Check. Okay. Uh, but isn't it crazy how you... is there? Check. Isn't it crazy how you just do it with your cell phone now in like three seconds? Yeah. You yep. just hook up yeah. your fucking cell phone to any, any TV? Well, I think that's yeah. all over Wi-Fi, isn't it? Is that how it hooks? No. no. Is, it, you can just, is it infrared? Infrared, that's it. Okay. Just hook it up. You just download a... Look up uh, Kennedy. Kennedy's. MTV Kennedy. MTV Kennedy. MTV yeah. Kennedy? I got it. You guys are speaking... Dude, talk about Jeez antiquated technology. MTV VJs. Oh, yeah. They've gone by the wayside. Hey, Kennedy. Simon yeah, Rex. Yeah, sexy Kennedy. You remember Simon Rex? Of course, man. Yeah. Dirt nasty, bro. Dirt nasty. Dude. Him and Riff Raff, dude. <laughs> dude I love Andy it. Andy Milanakis. Yep. <laughs> Absolutely. Dude, so good. Yep. Yeah, no, I'd, I'd, I'd pass on that now, I think. Mm-hmm. No, but back in the day, oh, yeah, when you're like yeah. 12, you wanted to like squirt one off real yeah, quick. Like, you put Kennedy on. Come on, Kennedy. Let's listen. To like some... she's like your hot. Kennedy fucking... was was one of the would not have been one of my MTV VJ picks. Would you Dude. like to bang while we're listening to look at Nirvana? Look, you need that one. You want to fuck her? I'm not saying I wouldn't. You I'm would. Just jet... oh, she back would be, in the day. She you would, would like jack num- off. She'd be number eight or nine on my list. Probably. Dude, well, yeah. When you run home and try after school, trying to I'll watch some what, MTV. Serena Alch would be. Hey, before. what was that dance show that used to be on MTV? Dance, um, uh, the grind, the grind, dude, oh, the grind <laughs> with Eric from I the real go, world. I used to go pick up my buddy for for high school back in the day. <laughs> dude, hold on, he'd be like, "Hold on, I'll be out in a do minute." You wanna go, do you want to go real old Watching school? The grind at like six thirty. <laughs> you want to go real, real old school right now? How about uh, the new dance show 
Local. I don't know. Please, God, tell me you don't know the new dance show with the percolator. It's oh, yeah, the, per- the percolator, yeah, Dude, yeah. Blackula with the cape and all that. Yeah, yeah, I remember, remember that. Remember the new dance show? What was uh R.J. Watkins, dude. It was like in his basement or some shit. <laughs> Do you remember this? <laughs> I'm Fuck, trying to think look, of... <laughs> Dude, I'm telling you, I will... It was like a new version of like Saturday Night Fever. It was uh, it was, what, what was Detroit the... Public Access, bro. Yeah, yeah, I remember. I mean, that, it was yeah. hood as fuck, yeah. like local shit, like Channel Thirty Six or something. Dude, I would watch it. That's pro- dude. First of all, like Hennessy in the background. Used to have to do the channels. <laughs> I've always had a thing for black girls, and this show was my shit. I mean, I would just sit there. They're just chicks just shaking their shit in body suits. And I'm just like, oh, my head is sideways as like a 14-year-old. I'm just like, oh, this is the best thing that's ever happened to me. Well, we were talking about earlier. I don't know if you were here. The squiggly lines. You remember that shit? Watching the fucking Spice Channel? Spice Channel. See, <laughs> Spice, I think it was different yeah. down here. It was Channel 99, right? Yeah, 99. Yeah. Ours was 93. And you used to see a, a, a boob come yeah, into fruition. Yeah, like, oh, every fuck, it's a titty. <laughs> like, <"Ugh." laughs> hurry up. You're basically just <laughs> listening to the soundtrack. Right, hoping Dude, to see a half scrambled right. boob. I'll, oh, yeah. I'll, I'll yeah. get so old school on you guys. Do you remember uh, the box? Yeah, oh, dude. The yeah. box was the shit, yeah, dude. Yeah, man. Me and Jason Stanek used to fucking sit in his house and we used to like order phone, it up. Oh, order this up. We're just like sitting there. You wait all day. Like, you remember yeah! when your buddy's dad got the discrambler? Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> you're like, dude, we got every single channel yep. plus Cinemax. Yeah, my dad used to have that, but I never knew how to work it. Yeah, dude, like literally, like there's a satellite, like a, like an eight or ten foot satellite dish outside, and like you press <laughs> buttons and it starts going. <laughs> yeah, it's moving. moving. I'm like, around. oh shit, when's the fucking missiles launching, dude? Yeah. It's not like a fucking <laughs> UFO landing on your house. I'm saying, dude, yeah, yeah. I never knew how to Those work that shit. Gigantic dishes. I remember how funny that is. Thinking back in the day, people that put a dish dude. in their backyard. Yeah, it's like a ten foot fucking dish. Yeah, my dad was always super piety on this shit. He always had like the latest and greatest. That's shit. awesome, dude. Like people he worked with, they're like, "Yep, got the new program." Really? <laughs> oh yeah, dude. That's awesome, man. Yeah, but, but I, I I come across a nudie channel here and there, but yeah. not not too often. That was yeah. straight cable. I was I was flicking my head side to side trying to see through the. Switch. We were talking earlier the A and B switch. Yeah. Remember that shit? Early oh yeah, cable? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, back forth, back forth, back forth. <laughs> That's what I was telling him. In my gazebo out there, yep. The dude that used that built this house, he used to have cable out there and just sit out there drink beer, and watch fucking whatever. I guess Flip back and forth in the gazebo. On the I'm like, switch. dude, that's gangster shit. Just drink yeah. beer, watch TV in your gazebo. Okay. He had, this, he had the super setup. He had to get up to switch over to B though. <laughs> <laughs> he probably had a stick back in the day. Yeah, man. But do you, do you ever hear like kids like use like old phrases like? roll down a window it's like yeah dude, oh yeah you, you, like yeah. like you've you've never rolled down a window my right. kids have it's the like, danger rangers got cranked it's like, windows. nice it's like nice. i'll tell you I'll, if you want to roll down a window i'll take you back to my dad's old ass truck with a fucking needle nose plier yeah, oh, yeah. Handle yeah. down it's like that's rolling down a window yep. the the uh Get the vice grips like, on Yeah, vice yeah. grips. It's like, when you hear, like, yeah. uh, when I hear my, like, niece and nephew, like, oh, roll down the window. It's like, motherfucker, you never roll down yeah. a window. Before. You hit a button, dude. You never hey. put any effort to you it. You put Let's no effort. for real. <laughs> Zero electric anything except for, like, the starter. Yeah. No AC. No nothing. Yeah. They you, don't. You broke down every fucking fifth trip. My you truck has saying? AC. It just doesn't work. Fair enough. My, my <laughs> Ranger did not. No? No. Even dude, even my '96, that black one, that had it had only the only option I think was AC. Mine was a '93, and every well, time I popped my hood, I was like, oh, "My current it's missing." That current Ranger <laughs> I have is a '93. <laughs> the 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 shit's there, or like the the stamping's there on right, the block, but right, right, right. No AC compressor. I was like, "Yeah, hmm." Wonder if I can convert this. Yeah, <laughs> I'm like, sure no. you could have if you put some time into it. I you just run lines. And I just think it's it. funny when people like when you hear kids say that shit. Like the phrases they use, like "Oh, roll down the window." Oh, for example, they you don't know, know what like, a record is. Yeah, dude, they got no or, idea. That's or, coming back. Or, or it is or dial crazy. or dial you dial someone up. It's like you never dialed a fucking phone before. You don't even know what a phone is. You know, it's like <laughs> this is a dial. Yep. It's just like the phrases that they use are still dude, here. But do you it's remember rotary. fucking up on the last number of somebody's oh, rotary dude. number when you're like, oh, you're fuck, dude, you're pissed off. Pissed me off so much. Do you remember how pissed you used to get when people had a bunch of higher numbers in their fucking yeah. shit? Because oh, it took forever for it to bro, ring back you around. Got eight eight nine 
nine. Oh, you got you got your... you got three nines in your fucking phone number. You're like, fuck, I ain't calling him ever, dude. <laughs> he never gets a call. That this guy dude never sucks, got a call. dude. <laughs> Cody's like, what are you guys talking about? Yeah, Co- Cody is. Cody had four nines in his number. That's why no one fucking called his ass. <laughs> yeah. Like, I ain't called. Did him. you did you have a rotary phone growing uh, up? Nope. No. Nope. Yeah. Did you have a push button one? Yeah. Yeah. We had a rotary on the wall in the kitchen. I got. I still got one on the wall. Not a rotary though. Yeah. I got the bat phone. It's red. Nice. Oh, it's got to be red. Yeah. Yeah. I want to put a glass case over it. My favorite were the old timey looking ones that had like the oh, thing the, and you talked to the black like fucking mouthpiece and it still had the rotary thing. Yep. Yep. Booty's mom and dad had one of those forever in their kitchen. Yeah, dude. I mean, what? Fuck it. Why not? Oh, dude. At, at some point, it was just disconnected and it looked cool. Yeah. yeah. I think. I think it eventually just gets dis- disconnected, yeah. doesn't it? Yeah. I mean, it, my mom and dad still just up gave up their landline. To. Yeah. Within the last few months. Was it a legit copper one or was it over like a? I'm Boy, talking. It's the fucking phone the number internet. I had when I was a fucking. Well, I'm saying like now it's all streaming and shit. Yeah. Right. I'm but sure it was probably digital. Was it? Oh, okay. I was gonna say because there is some copper line still yeah. running. I still have all the it's, wiring it's in my house that I run. Few across. and far between. Well, that's oh, I, the infrastructure is all fucked up. Yeah, AT&T. I got mine. In, I got mine in the basement still, but it's it, all fucked and you know snapped up. It's and all yeah. like cable phone basically. Yeah. yeah. If you have whatever, it's the same as your internet yeah, it's provider a, and all that. A VoIP that. phone, voice over IP, yeah. or whatever. Yeah, yeah, but they they gave up their their landline, and that, I'm not telling, I'm not lying. It hurt my feelings a little bit. Yeah, I'm like fuck, man. I've known that. You still phone remember that number, don't you? What is it? Five years old. Two four two five one seven six. I was I still two got four my, two five five zero oh, six. I still no got shit. my mom's yeah. number still, yeah. dude. My boy, dude, Angelo, my buddy that lived down the block from me. Mine was two four two five one seven six. His was two four two five one six seven. If you ever want to get any of my passwords, to my mom's old number. Yeah, good. Seven two seven zero. Jesus Christ! <laughs> Just throwing it out there for you guys. I'm not <laughs> editing that, by the way. <laughs> Feel free. It's you every, better change it, your password. It's dude. every password I ever Find had. Seven two seven zero. Well, hey, let's hit a break real quick. Uh, brainstorm and come back with some more grenades to throw out here, man. Tossing them. Cool, cool. What's up, everybody? Scott from Shit Gets Deep here. Just wanted to take a quick minute. Thank everybody for listening. Uh, check us out, shitgetsdeep.com. Questions, show ideas, suggestions, hate mail, whatever. Love to hear from you guys. Uh, we're also on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook. I don't know. Maybe we're not on Facebook. I don't know. Check it out anyways to see if we are. Anyways, man, uh, thanks again for listening. Uh, back to the show. What's up? Cheers. Yo, we're back. Back at him. You yeah. talking about old weird shit that doesn't exist anymore. Only in memories. Yeah, man. And garage sales. Dude, you know another good one? Typewriters. Typewriters. Ooh. Dude. Or the, 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 um, what was that printer called? The dot matrix printer? Dot matrix, yeah. It would go back and forth and back yep. and forth. Yep. It actually had to make contact with the paper. Yeah. I got an OG, uh, typewriter still, like a pre electric one. Yeah. That you get to the end and it goes, ding. You gotta go yep. back to the. I know we start. had a couple of them when I was, we were kids. Yeah. Yep. Yep. The, the, the old tube TVs are like huge on dude. like Asia, dude. I was saying something about that earlier. They're, they're so cheap, to like to get. It. Like so, everyone in Asia like wants this shit because they don't they don't have like no technology over there, so they want the tube TVs. In Asia, they ain't got technology? What do you mean? Or they just want vintage it's shit? It's so cheap because they're, they don't have no money out there. Um, The uh, old console TVs, 
the big yeah. wood case. Oh yeah, TVs. yeah. You remember that? That, yeah. that we were talking about. Yeah. And then you used to stack you another TV f- on top f- of that flip one. Flip open that, that one little quit. thing on the top and see the tubes down inside. Oh yeah. Of it. Well, they're yeah. so. I'm telling you, they're so poor out there. Like they can't get a flat screen TV. Like they want these old TVs and shit like that. Well, Asians are always into like some different shit. They've always got like a different style, man. They're always either yeah. cutting edge or bringing back old vintage shit. Yeah, you man. know what I'm saying. I mean, you got to figure. There's a lot of Asia that's technically, I don't, we're not going to say a lot of Asia, but there's a lot of, you know, third world type shit where it's still, you're using antiquated technology on a daily, you know? Right. You're using a plow with cows and stuff, you know? Plow cow. (laughs) Yeah. Well, (laughs) there's not, you know, there's not tractors to go around for everybody. Yeah. You know, it's not like there's craftsmen like us dum-dums here in, in, you know, in the states, we go. Oh, I'll go get my John Deere. No, All right, you go get your Husqvarna. No Bob Vila's over there. That's right. <laughs> yeah, I mean, just there's a lot of a lot of a lot of rural area where it's, you know, it's it's hit or miss though, time. man. Because usually they're on point technology wise too. You know what I'm saying? They're like ahead of the game a lot. No doubt. I you mean, know? where where there is technology, it is far advanced. Yeah, yep. you know, future shit. Yep, yep. Uh, what else we got, man? This, some, this is bringing back a shit ton of old memories. Yeah, it certainly is. You know? Dude, garage sales, I'm telling you, garage sales, yeah, estate yeah, sales yeah. is yeah. where it's at. Dude. I, I fancy myself a walk around when I see one every now well, and again. Well, people don't I'm know what they're lie. selling half the time, they're, or they don't think anything of it. I mean, because They're dude, just cleaning out space. Ebayers love garage sales, I'd have to imagine, dude. This guy does. Dude, old boom boxes and shit, dude. Yeah. Oh, my God. They go for so much money, like old you school legit ones. Dude, my, my next door neighbor gave uh, me a bunch of scrap. You know, like her husband passed away, and mm-hmm. she was just cleaning out his garage. She gave me what I can only, I think, it's an old brass bilge pump, like a hand pump. Hmm. It's solid brass. It's be, it's cool, man. I'm going to clean it up. It's badass. Yeah, it's random shit like that that you yeah. just kind of save. Yeah. yeah, but it's antique-y just like kinda. super antique Yep. Especially in its current condition. Yeah. Well, I just, like I told Cody, I went to this estate sale, and... You know, I just driving down Alexis Road and I seen one. Me and my wife were like, "Hey, let's fuck it, let's go there." You know, we walk in there like. Soon as you walk into one, the funkier the smell. Oh, I'm telling you, the that's, better. That's where it's at, dude. <laughs> right. Like I'm telling you, you walk in that house and it stinks. Like that's these good. people do not want to get rid of it. It's like no, oh, oh, this is how 1964 yeah, smelled. Like, they don't even want to like get rid of the air that it, in the house. Oh, they're, it's they're like, like dude, not trying to sell. No, no, like or they're trying. No, to get it's rid like of it, right? these old people like that died in this place. It the funkier to smell, dude. It's, For sure, it's where it's at, dude. Yeah. Like these people did not get rid of nothing. That's where the find that, is. That's oh, good that's picking. where it's at. The stink, picking. the stinkier it is, is it, it smells like cat piss. You're, it's a gold mm-hmm. mine, dude. Hell yeah. They held so, on to everything. Dude, I walked in this bitch. I'm like, yeah, it smells like cat piss. It smells like, like musty cardboard <laughs> and cat piss. Dude. Sweet. <laughs> and I fucking go in this kitchen, dude, and I was like, hell yeah, let's see what this How much is. for the sink? <laughs> <laughs> How much for that dishwasher that's been here since like 1970? <laughs> She's like, nah, I'm not for sale. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm dead serious, dude. Like, there was this like badass like beer collection, like mugs and shit. I'm yeah. like, I looked at Jackie, I was like, Dude, like, I want this. She's but, like, really, Matt? <laughs> and that's what she said. She's like, <laughs> yeah. No, she's like, well, let's go down in the basement. I was like, all right, let's go down in the basement. We're sitting there, you know, we're all these old tools and shit. And uh, next day, I look in the corner. There's like an old basketball hoop, all this shit. In the basement? That's there's weird. like an electronic, like, oh, yeah, shit. Yeah. There's like one cornhole board over there. There's no, there's, not at two of them. There's this one. Peanut butter, no jelly. I'm looking at all these old tools. The next thing you know, Jackie's Salt, like, no Jackie's sugar. like, Jackie's like, oh my god. I'm like, this is gonna be stupid. This is how it starts. I turn around and there's like a fucking bike over there. I'm like, oh, we gotta bike? take. We gotta take this bike home. All I'm thinking about this beer mug upstairs. Like, hell yeah, I just right. want this beer mug. I'm like, hey, she takes this home. I get a beer mug. Yeah. I'm yeah. like, fuck yeah, dude. So it's a two for one. Yeah. So she swoops up on this bike, and we go back upstairs. The beer mug's gone. I'm oh. like, all I wanted was this beer mug. I'm like, well, I'm not leaving this fucking house with. I'm buying something. 
I'm buying. <laughs> if she's getting a bike, I'm buying some. If it's not a fucking beer dude, mug, I can't leave empty handed. Dude, just that's on, what I'm saying on purpose. Just. So I fucking walk around this house. Next thing you know, I'm like going to this fucking you know this bedroom ain't shit. Next thing you know, there's a fucking electric drum set. Yeah, yes. I'm like really, dude. I'm dead serious. Like like a sweet one, like. Def Leppard style drum Roll, set. Like Rolling yeah. V drums? Yeah, probably. Dude, like. Do you still have them? Do you buy them? I didn't buy them. Oh. Listen, to, I'm going to tell you the story. <laughs> like, I want a drum set, Jackie. Yeah. So I, I, I walk in this room. I'm like, dude, there's a fucking electric drum set here. <laughs> I'm gonna be fucking Time one. Ar- I'm gonna be like one arm. I was just about to ask: Were you planning on playing this one handed? Well, I was thinking about it, like, but I'm just saying, like, I can feel it she- coming <laughs> in the air tonight. That's not even Def Leppard. No, yeah, but, but it's that's definitely the best drummer 80s ever. electric drums. <laughs> but I'm just saying, like, she bought this fucking bike. I'm like, I'm buying something, and What'd I look. Here, right. here right. the drum set. Right. My bad. So not, I fucking, no I walk, in, drums. I walk in this bitch. And I'm like, dude, I'm looking for anything, anything, anything I want, dude. I'm like, oh, and I come across this electric drum drum set. I'm buying this shit. I'm buying this motherfucking drum set. <laughs> then it kicks in your head, like, what the fuck? How are you gonna fucking play this thing ever, dude? Like. <laughs> I'm fucking like hating life right now because like she got what she wants. She's all smiles. Someone, and you're like, mm. someone swooped up on my fucking you beer. You should have hunted that beer mug, dude, <laughs> down and be like, "Yo, dude, I'll give you an extra fifteen cents." Well, it gets you fuck. It right. gets better. So fucking, I'm like, dude, fuck. I'm not Def Leppard. I'm fucking out of this bitch. <laughs> fucking walk out. She has a fucking tricycle tricycle in her hand. Is it have, a tricycle? Or yeah, a bicycle. No, oh, it's the three what. Like a trike? It's a tricycle. It's a tricycle. Same bike. A oh, kid, sorry. It's a, a kid's it's, one? It's or a, yeah, what Livia yes. drives. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Rise around. So I come to figure out, like, dude, I'm not Def Leppard. I got to get the fuck out of here. So I get, <laughs> I get the fuck out of here. I'm walking out. You got to go pay someone. Yeah. I get up there. I'm embarrassed because I got to walk by the guy that has my mug. Ugh. Just giving him the stank Smug eye. Smug look on his yeah, face. Like, yeah. fuck you, dude. Sucker. And second of all, I only have $13 in my pocket. Oh. And they want $20 for this rice. Oh, shit. You got to so, haggle with him, bro. So I'm sitting up there. I'm like, all right, this dude has my mug. Fuck everyone. You knew uh, we were going to try and buy some rolling V drums with $13. Well, well they don't take debit. Like, <laughs> I'm like, I would have swiped that bitch. It, like, if I would have seen the like, ATM out there, I'm like, dude, give me those electric drums. State sales will. <laughs> Estate sales will have like a, a like a square. Yeah, on this their is phone. probably back in. Well, not, not back in the day. No, you said it was recent, right? It was just like a month and a half ago. Dude, I gotta hit up some estate sales. I miss that shit, dude. dude I'm telling you, I, I I felt so embarrassed, like walking by, like this dude has my mug. I got thirteen dollars on. So me. what happened? I walked out without a mug and a fucking bike. Oh, I thought you said it gets better. It got worse for you. It got worse for me. Yeah. Everyone, for everyone else for you. We got guys. to laugh at him for you not having those la- drums. Yeah. Nice, nice mug, bro. Uh, all I think it was about this drum in a way. How much did they want for the drums? Dude, it was like 85 bucks. Dude. Dude. That was probably dirt cheap, dude. Dude, it was like legit shit, dude. Did they, they have like probably... a real bass pedal and stuff? Like everything it was probably like, v drums, dude. Was dude, v drums. when i when i walked the, okay let me ask you was it rubber or was it like a cloth it was a cloth oh, shit. Dude, yeah. when i walked in there i it was, was like five six hundred bucks i would have spent 150 on that all i'm day. telling you when i walked in that room i heard pour some sugar on me like straight up dude, <laughs> dude, dude, dude. <laughs> yeah. i swear to god i was like what the fuck Absolutely. Dude? what did i do to my life dude? would you I should like have... got a wig or would you just started growing your hair out I would just grew my hair out. <laughs> would you have taped an arm behind your back? That's, That's what I was thinking. Or no, you could have just drank beer out of that mug. Yeah, well, I only while playing one handed yes. drums, well, dude. I only do everything with one arm. One arm, anyways. I have a cigarette or a beer in one arm, so I'm always doing everything with one arm, anyways. But if you so. wanted to be like really authentic, you would actually put it in your T-shirt and just stick your elbow out, like tuck it in like that. I don't know. Is that is that this <laughs> dis- is it. that this disrespecting him or what? I don't know. He's a badass drummer. I mean, I can't really disrespect him that much. Yeah. Yeah. The Bloodhound Gang gave him a mad, mad uh, shout out at the end of that one song. I don't remember. The, one of their songs just ends with the guy screaming over and over and over. The drummer from Death Leopard's only got one arm. The drummer, <laughs> <laughs> Jesus! <laughs> I swear to God, go Bloodhound yeah, Gang. I haven't heard them in a minute. Jesus oh, yeah. Christ! Yeah, what else we got, man? What uh, I was looking old camera shit. I actually got some old uh, Kodachrome. Ooh, film. Yeah, Kodak Kodachrome film. You know what I, I, I think still exists, but I just don't think it's 
it's a thing anymore that much. That What's that? We all probably burned through a couple of them. Our old school big wheels. Dude, I had that night Kids rider, these days, son. man. Kids all have like the, you know, like the little strider bikes or a scooter or something, but they don't have that old school big wheel. My kid had one. Plastic front yeah. wheel. You used to, I used to, dude, I went to, my my front wheel didn't have any Where, plastic in the middle. I'll there was holes all tear around it. Tear it up, man. Just doing burnouts in it. I had that night rider with, with the side brake. Yeah, to do the handbrake on it. I had that, and then my favorite, that? my favorite, uh, Halloween costume growing up, I had a Chuck Norris costume. Nice. <laughs> That's you, how old I am. Do you, know, do you know which one that I was always envious of my neighbor he had? What was that? He had the green machine. Oh. Do you remember the green machine? Yeah. It had the steering was the two handles yeah. like this. Fuck yeah. And it swiveled the back wheels. Yep. So the front didn't steer. You steered yep. with the back. How about oh. the one with the, the fucking uh, super... The, the sprinkler or the super oh, squirt, soaker, gun? squirt gun yeah. in the front, dude. Oh, I do remember that. Dude, that was yeah. badass, yeah. dude. Wow, it sounds like you guys had a good uh, childhood. What did you do? No, nothing. played in the dirt. <laughs> <laughs> no, I sold. I sold all this. No shit. big wheel. <laughs> hey, you just I gotta take it from the little wheel. kids. Never had a big. Did you have wheel. a little wheel? No, I didn't no. even have that. You ever like Lincoln Logs? He's like, dude, I had, I had a, uh, I had sticks. I had a razor scooter, dude, you guys. I did, I did have a razor scooter. <laughs> see, see, yeah, it's different. You're dude, young. This is how, like, the best thing ever is like, this is how my parents used to do like toys. It's like, you don't get toys until you actually like, hear them, like you actually can speak. So like, you're three years down the road, like, all right, whatever. All right. Like, now you're worthy. Now you're worthy. You're asking for toys. Next thing you know, we get some Lincoln Logs. You know, whatever. You're like five or six. Get a, you can get a couple Lincoln Logs. Sprinkle a couple Lincoln yeah, here, Logs here in you here. Go. Sprinkle a couple dude, of Legos in dude, here. Dude, it's, yeah. it took me like five years to build a two-story fucking house to fucking <laughs> Lincoln Logs. My parents had a legit as a motherfucker. Because they had those <laughs> shitty like green planks for the roof. Oh, well, fuck yeah. yeah. You, broke like, them, you broke them the first time you accidentally leaned on it. It yeah, snapped in half. Dude, you go to Walmart now, you get a pack of like ten hot or you know ten fucking Hot Wheels. It's like... No, you no. get one Hot Wheel per one month, at a time. <laughs> if that. Dude, it's the funny part. Like now, like everything's electronic. Has everything, every toy, everything. You, you know get what blows me away is the or price. Makes noise or does something. My my grandpa, he's like, oh yeah, I used to have that when I grew up. Yeah, the he grew price up of in stuff blows Nazi me away. Germany. <laughs> it's like nope. I didn't like have I remember shit. going through Kmart and stuff with with my you know three year old kid. Yeah, they'd be like, oh, I want that, and I'm looking. There's like. WWF figurines, except they're like three feet tall and like whatever. And it's like that would have cost four hundred dollars when I was a kid. Yeah, right. Yeah. And I look, I was like, I wonder how much that is. It's like five bucks in the discount rack. Like, it's just sitting there. Yeah, five, hey, five dollars for I've, this. Me and Cody actually talk about that. I feel like everything's so much cheaper. Like we went and bought bikes. It's like, do you remember how much those fucking wrestler pillows were? No shit, dude. dude just a fucking, little, a fucking wrestling buddy. <laughs> remember the thumb wrestlers? Fuck yeah. 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 Give me a, a Hulk Hogan wrestling buddy. Dude. My fucking mom worked all she year long to, to give me eighty a, bucks on that. Thing. I know that's what I'm talking about. Yeah. Dude, it's the, like crazy. The plastic WWF wrestlers, yeah. the action figures, those were like fifteen dollars. Yeah, nineteen ninety five. One. It's ninety five dollars now. And then only one of your buddies had the ring. <laughs> the, oh the, like, yeah, yeah. You know, like the, the platform ring, ring with I, the rubber I did, bands. I did have the ring. The wrestlers had the two metal oh, pieces. Oh, Cody didn't you... have a cool child. Oh, no, yeah. Come on. I was you guys heard my dirt. fucking Bon Jovi story, okay? <laughs> I had a shitty childhood. <laughs> oh, no, you're I didn't fine. get Limp Biscuit. I got fucking Bon nah, Jovi. That Dude, still first sticks in your craw, hey, I'd rather have Bon Jovi. Just all, saying. All I heard, you had you had the ring in Ultimate Warrior, so fuck your childhood. I didn't, you have, had a, I didn't have Ultimate Warrior. You had, I do have one, one good one. I went to WrestleMania three. Holy shit! Yeah. Okay. Uh, Pontiac Silverdome. Silverdome. So you watched Hawk Hogan slam Andre the Giant, did. dude. Did I you did. watch the Andre the Giant fucking doc? I did. No. We did. we actually need wow, to do a, a wrestling good. a wrestling one. We do we just to get, just for shit. I, I, yeah? yeah. It's weird because I have a strange like thing where I. We'll go into these like Wikipedia fucking wormholes, yes, looking up old oh, restaurant re- restaurants, restaurants, old oh, yeah. wrestlers, pirate chef, dude, you <laughs> like fucking. I was like, I'll just be, and then all of a sudden, like, oh my god, I remember that dude. Steam and then I click on him, people, and I'm like, yeah, 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 man, fucking Big John Stud, yeah, yeah. fucking. The, and I'm like, well, who he was, the was dude? Uh, oh, he's a lohad in the corner. Uh, he did the thumb and the pinky out. Was uh, it uh, what the hell was his name? 
Ricky the Dragon Ta- Steamboat? No. Tonka no. something. No, no. Uh, we're going to have to look some stuff Tito up. Tito Santana? Nope. Which, what are you talking about? Doing a flip or something? Superfly Snooker. Superfly Super Snooker. Uh, hell Super yeah. Fly. Jimmy the Superfly Snooker. Yep. Dude, right. you got you to gotta listen to Jake the Snake on Andre the Giant. Yeah. When, well, because Jake the Snake was uh, actually a ref. Yeah. And then uh, he used to have to drive Andre the Giant around and shit. So fucking Andre the Giant was going home and he's like, you got to stop off. He's like, oh, you got to stop off and shit. Dude. So they got two cases of beer. Yeah. And it was only an hour fucking drive. And fucking Andre the Giant drank. 48 beers the time they got home. Yeah. But did you think something he would just l- literally drink like 107 beers? Yeah. And not barely be buzzed. <laughs> That's after he had like four bottles of wine. Giant want more beer. Yeah, Giant man. <laughs> Dude, Andre was awesome, man. Dude. Well, uh, um, let's not get too deep into it. Oh, I know. We right. need to save this for the. We will. We, we, we need to do OG uh, wrestling. Definitely podcast. have to have an OG wrestling. That's, that'd be nice I'm not one. into it anymore, but I, I, I'm into I the old the ones. The old, the old stories, fuck. Aren't fucking epic. Yeah, uh, I got uh, Jimmy Hart's autograph. Yep, I think from WrestleMania three. Oh yeah, the Hart I Foundation. Him, uh, he was with the Honky Tonk, the Mouth of the Man. South. Did he? Yeah, get, yeah, yeah, yeah. Jimmy he the always mouth had the, of the, the, the piano, piano, always had a piano tie. crazy ties, and a megaphone. Yeah. Yep. Did, did he get Owner Hart's autograph? No, I'm, I'm just joking. No, he I, died. Well, that was <laughs> I don't even know that way is. after the that though. Yeah, like I said, I don't even know who that is. So Owen hey. Hart was Bret Hart's Hart brothers, cousin, okay. maybe Hart brothers. No brothers. Or? Yeah, they were brothers. Okay, yeah, that's that's the only thing. The we gotta get we gotta get off this because there's a lot of shit. There is a ton. Like fucking Bret we'll Hart. Go, yeah, like I said, Bret Hart. The wormhole in, uh, that I will travel down with this is fucking dude. Deep, 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 deep. deep. I've seen Vice has a a thing on old school wrestling. Like I've heard it's. I watch podcasts all day, feelings. man. Oh, really? I heard you will feel bad after you watch it. Yeah. Oh, dude, just imagine. Well, yeah. even the movie The Wrestler, I thought that was yeah, a, man. a well put Super together dark. movie. Oh, fuck yeah. They did a really, really Super good job dark. with that, but yeah, it was dark as Even fuck, parts dude. of that Andre the Giant one, you're like, man, that's a lonely life. What do you, For you, sure. Dude, it was crazy. Like, this one part on Andre the Giant, when Hulk Hogan, Hulk Hogan and Andre, or uh, Hulk Hogan and uh, Ric Flair was talking about him, he was so fucking big, like, when he had hotels and shit, the only time he could, the only way you could take a shit was in the bathtub. Dude. Yeah, so hood. yeah, so uh, he was so he couldn't fit on a fucking yeah. toilet, dude. Like, dude couldn't even find and like a comfortable place. He could to not, sleep. dude. He was so he was in pains so much, like he couldn't do nothing. Like he go to a restaurant, he goes to a hotel, he try to take a shit. Imagine the size of the shit of that feller, dude. Yeah, man. That's why he shit in the dude, bathtub. Imagine he was better off in a five gallon bucket, honestly, dude. Yeah. It was nuts, dude. Like, he was in pain forever, that dude. dude probably filled a five-gallon up pretty quick, dude. <laughs> I'm just saying. You know they what I'm saying? might like, have, yeah. That's a big feller. Yeah, that's Fuck a big dude. Yeah. dude. Plus, he would eat probably, you know, ten times what we do. Dude. And you know he wasn't if a you're drinking, guy If either. you're drinking a hundred fucking beers and eight bottles of wine. Yeah. On a casual and night, a, and, yeah. a, and a couple, <laughs> and then go rust. He went and wrestled, and Jack and drinking bottles of Jack Daniels too. Imagine him if he actually barfed on stage, dude. dude. It soaked the whole fucking hookup, oh, dude. Oh my Just god, be overflowing over be like, the side. Uh, fat ass and fucking stand by me. I don't remember. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> During the pie <laughs> eating contest, dude. <laughs> he went backstage and drank the castor oil ahead of time. Could, yeah. could, could you yeah. be? A, can you imagine fucking like Hawk Hogan like? Andre the Giant tell me, pick me up and slam me. This is fucking WrestleMania. You better be on a fast and, for like yeah. two days, and, bro. But and then Hulk Hogan <laughs> picks him up and rips everything in his body, and then yeah. he tries it a second time and fucking actually does it. Yeah. And he Andre the Giant actually like lifts his fucking leg up to get his I think it was like almost five hundred fucking yeah. pounds. Yeah, dude. he was. It's like could you imagine that? Hey. Could you imagine I seen it. I'm just thinking that you didn't see see shit. You're like two. We had nosebleed e seats, but I was there, dude. No, it was like, dude, we were probably. There was still jumbo trying. It's WrestleMania 3. I'd say we were probably. I wish I still had the ticket stubs. I don't. That'd be awesome. Well, I'd say we're probably 30 or 40 seats up. We were like middle. How old were you? Oh, dude, I was like 10. 12, maybe? I don't know. There's no way. It was, uh, shit, I don't even I remember what year it was. It was probably 89 there's, there's or something, no, like, something that. like that. Maybe 88, 89. I don't, I don't believe it. Because Wrestle, it's WrestleMania 36 right now. Yeah. It was so definitely it was late 80s. So 36. 
Yes, it is. Well, look because, up, look up WrestleMania cause three because it's always it's always around my birthday, and I'm I'm thirty seven. Eighty seven. Oh, yeah. man. So you were. I was okay. So I was six, seven years old. You're six or seven, depending on. I don't remember what the timeline was. Huh. Boom, I just talked to my parents about that. it. Yeah, look Scott at that. Look at that shit. He ripped everything on his body, his whole back. Yeah, pretty much. Like we weren't as that second picture in. We were probably Scott was about, there. No, we were about like, dude. I see you right there. That's not even it. It's no, open. It's we open. Were, arena. We were closer to the ring, but like halfway up on the tall side. Dude, I want the WrestleMania 30 in, in Fort Field. Did you? Yes. Is a Ford Field one? Yep. No yes, shit. I did. My my when brother was that. Um, so I'm 30 I'm 36, so 6 years ago, and they have the record. It was 80 I think it was 88,000 people there. It was great. No the shit. Ford Field record? Yep. Nice. Ford Field record. 2014. Yeah, that was so that was uh Rowdy Roddy Piper's Bro- first retirement was at that WrestleMania 3. Really? Yeah. What's he, that? 75,000. Um, how, how many um, times did Rowdy Roddy Piper retire? 14,000. <laughs> that was his first. Dude, he was the jam. Uh, Rod. Undertaker was the I jam. I remember uh, there was uh, the Killer Bees. You remember them? Oh, yeah. They were there. Yeah, they're, dude, it was it was Coco Beware. I, I, don't, I don't remember. It was only 77,000. I, I remember Coco Beware, but I don't remember if he was there or not. I it was. I'm it was telling a blur, you, dude, dude. If we stay here, well, I will go down a long. Yeah, long we need to get back. New on episode track. back on. <laughs> that's right. Put a well, book, yeah. put a bookmark on that. Oh yeah, that's something that's people don't up. use anymore either. Bookmarks because people right. don't use books. Well, how about I mean? The weird thing uh, is, is there's so many layers to this topic because we can say, oh, you remember digital alarm clocks? But also, do you remember, uh, you know, um, you know, hourglasses and san- and sundials? <laughs> Because those were before that. Well, the too. thing that gets me is like, I have things around the house that my kids like. What's that? Yeah, and I'm like, yeah, you don't know anything, do no, you? Man. Okay, all right, I'll, I'll drop some knowledge here, like my record player, or like that typewriter. Absolutely, or, I don't think your record player will ever go away. Here's another weird one, though. I don't old, think it will either. Old school no cameras. Way. Yeah, like, dude. But meanwhile, Polaroid's making a comeback again too. Well, good for them. You know, I they really Polaroid. are. But I here's the one. thing, like. You used to get one shot. Yeah. And that was it. And yeah. you didn't know like, if it was good it. until like a month later when you had to develop. When you had to pay for it to yeah. get developed, you were hoping that shit was spot on. Yeah. So you were like on point focusing in. There was no nude selfies because you'd have to know somebody well, to develop it for you. We were, uh, <laughs> when we were out west, there was a dude taking uh, pictures on a disposable camera. And I'm like, well, how about just this? looked at him like, what Do the you remember fuck, the camera dude? with the disposable flash? The little cube. Oh, yeah, I got oh, some. Yeah. I got some right up there. Oh, yeah. See them cubes right by the beer bottles. Oh uh, yeah, yeah, dude. Yeah, yeah, man. I yep. remember those cameras too. They were like the little flat rectangle ones. Yeah, yeah, those the square ones right there. And then, uh, what else did they use? Uh, What's the old school ones? That they burn almost people. The fucking when it flash went off. Oh, you, you had to hold the, the fucking thing yeah, with the... You ever see that? Yeah, that was dude. like... Yeah. You're like trying to take a family portrait and you're fucking... Like a flame Light throw. everybody's hair on fire <laughs> yeah, like, like Michael Jackson in a Pepsi commercial. No shit, like... <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, guys. I was just trying to get a good flash. Well, Fight. even <laughs> all them old school photos, they used to they used to take time to do. That's why everybody was always mean face Yeah. Because they would just sit there like... Took four hours to expose it. Yeah. Super long exposure yeah. time, and you could not move, Don't move. at all. Not well, a the, muscle. The, the crazy ones are like the dead people photos. Like they just set a dead person there, and like you go back with the photo of your family. You ever see that shit? Yeah. Like they just prop your de- dead dad up, dad up, and they just take what? a photo. You never seen that shit? Oh, that's creepy. Oh yeah, like back. Oh, back. At, you know what you're talking about, yeah. Tanner? Back, dude. So we like did so much crazy shit back in the day. Oh, for so sure. it's like like your dad would die or something. Well, it's borderline fucking taxidermy. Yeah, when you think about it. <laughs> but they would just like <laughs> they just like flop your fucking dad over in the fl- in the picture and just take a picture of it's him. Like, this is the last yeah. thing we're gonna have a pop. Yeah, there we go. Bury him. Hey, make him smile. Just <laughs> jack it up. It's like the, yeah, like. Toothpicks or yeah. straws no, pushing but, his but, cheeks up, but you would know because it's like there's like <laughs> it's where no. weekend at Bernie's was had. Yeah, like fucking hit, hit fucking he got the strings on his hands, <laughs> his arms around people and shit. <laughs> it's like fucking <laughs> hey, dude. Uh, 
Oh, man. Oh, that's good shit. <laughs> Fun. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> yeah, no doubt. Hitting fucking buoys out there. Oh. Let's take Dad out for la- one last skiing yeah. trip. Let's, fucking, <laughs> let's hit him some fucking buoys. Yeah, time out. We're gonna, Dad's got a tour before we bury him. Yeah, He's take, uh, do a bunch of his shit. favorite shit with him. Let's, let's see if you can wake more one more time. Throw him out there. And can see you what imagine what happened. people would like? You would be locked up instantly today, dude. They're like, I'm wait a minute, saying. is that? Is that guy dead? And you're like, yeah, man, it's my dad. We're doing like we're taking. We got a photo session. What's yeah. up? I'm gonna, up. Up. I'm gonna take my dead dad fucking sailing one more time. We got two <laughs> more things to do with him before we take he's, him to the funeral. He's not rigor mortis yet. He's fine. You know, <laughs> he ain't smelling too bad. We're all right. <laughs> yeah. We got two more things to do with my dad. I'm gonna get drunk with him, and I'm gonna get drunk with him again. I'm <laughs> just pour beer on him. That's all. Oh. Dude, now it'd be like weirdness whatever oh you would do time you're you're violating i mean can you just like just prop it a dead body like you're fucking dead dead next to you it's like what are you that's that's just like (laughs) weekend at bernie's (laughs) that's all that keeps popping up our brain fucking (laughs) bad dude (laughs) making him talk and you're grabbing his chin what do you think about that dad Oh yeah, what else we got? I don't know. We got time for a few more. (laughs) I'm sorry. Ah, you're good. You're good. Cody, (laughs) flick your booby. What's up? You all right, man? You're just laying back. You're always so quiet and reserved. (laughs) Oh, ding! Good. We know you're the youngster here. Ding! No, you don't even didn't even have a big wheel because they were done. People were done even buying. Is there anything that big wheels? Is there anything you have that your daughter's like? What is that? Like, I've never seen anything Holy like that. Shit. No, because I threw a lot of my shit out. <laughs> like I am bringing this back, <laughs> dude. Get it together! Holy shit! <laughs> we lost him with the dead dad talk. <laughs> I just can't stop thinking about working. We are we can hit breeze hitting the fucking buoy, dude. <laughs> just, they're like, what's that noise? They're all on the back of the boat, like ding. <laughs> Ding! What is that? That's Bernie fucking on the rope, dude. Boys, dude. That's fucking uh, hilarious. That's another antiquated thing. Jesus. Weekend at Bernie. Yeah, Jesus man. Christ! Did you have it on VHS or Beta? <laughs> uh, VHS. Didn't? Wasn't that? Uh... Oh, God. Well, right, what I'm... year was that? Dude, that Weekend be... at Bernie's probably 87. early nineties. Oh, was it? No, oh, it had to be eighties. I think it was late eighties. Late eighties, eighty-eight, probably. Because well, I, I, I just turned the TV on one day and it was on, <laughs> and I was like, "What the fuck is this movie?" And then I finally realized what 89. it was. Eighty-nine. Like, oh shit. Eighty. I said eighty-eight. Well, that's another thing. VHS, VHS. Gone. gone. Beta, the predecessor. Beta Max, gone. Also, did you know Beta was way better? Yeah, I heard like technology quality, was quality yeah. wise, like yeah. the the video quality and everything. Well, that's the thing. Like, you remember Blu-ray versus HD? Yeah. Remember the people that bought laser disc players? Laser discs, dude. <laughs> dude, those were around for a minute, dude. Yeah, man. If you had that, you were baller. I remember when CDs first came out, and I was like, "Oh shit!" Now mm-hmm. I got to change everything over. I was like, "Meh." I, I resisted for a Stop long. Saying, I'm going time. with this cassette, dude. It's way more fun. Yeah. And you can record on them because you couldn't record on CDs. Not that was like that the main purpose. CDR dude. came out. My dad had a little little machine where you could dub stuff from one to another. Yeah, when yeah. it first came out. Yeah, no, technology's just gotten so crazy. And right now, it's just moving at a breakneck speed. Oh, dude, it's not linear. It's by any means. It's like we were at the bottom of the bell curve when we were growing up, and now it's just that straight <laughs> up. I, hey, I still want my jetpack. Yeah, just saying. <laughs> I hear you. you know? I hear you. <laughs> Matt, you survived from that? You good? Yeah, Coming I'm good. back? All right. I was laughing. Though. That weekend at Bernie's got oh, me, I, bro. I just can't stop hearing that, 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 that <laughs> fucking movie, dude. I just can't stop hearing it. Uh, it was a funny movie. Hell yeah. <laughs> it, also, brought, it brought back memories. You couldn't get yeah. away with half the shit in that movie if you tried to do it today. <laughs> You can oh, never, oh, you can oh. never drag drag a dead body around the yeah, whole movie. That's true. <laughs> There's no way the plot wouldn't get a, it starts smelling at a certain point. Anyways, <laughs> I mean that's a dead giveaway, right? I think so. Yeah, yeah. Right. Move, losing patches of hair. How long does rigor mortis take to set in? I don't know. Probably <laughs> two, not three days. On these not, not my area of expertise. No, like I said, not familiar on that area, but. <laughs> 
Yeah, we got anything else? Or are we good? What uh? I'm trying to think of anything that was g- real good from being a little kid that we just don't see anymore. I, I mean, I hit majority of mine. Man. Obviously, there's uh, the the weird stuff that's just normal that is still used, but it's totally different, like flashlights. Right. Well, here's the scenario: yeah. if if anybody listening to this can think of stuff, we can do a a, a second series yeah. on this we're oh, for this, sure we're, we're for this, sure stepping over top of stuff Mr. yeah oh. this could rip down all night long oh for sure once we start going we'll start thinking of more and more shit but yeah yeah i mean it's uh it's just crazy to think these are the things that we relied on back in the day that just have disappeared yeah. and like, we're i mean we're we're kind of focused on our childhood as to the stuff that's changed since then but we're not even talking like the sextant you know, that something that or was, the invention of the car. Yeah, like what'd you do before car you know, or vehicle or transportation? Period. Yeah, you know, you know, if you're talking about the the very baseline technological stuff that's you know nece- necessary for modern life. Yeah, you know, muy necesito, man. Yeah. Um, well, yeah, like you're saying, the sextant <clears throat> that took over that was used to to navigate n- navigate for how many thousands of years? Now we got GPS. Yeah, and by the wayside, nobody. And, yeah, ever not to mention it. if you got a fucking Tom Tom in your car, that's antiquated technology, <laughs> and that's like four years ago. Isn't that wild? <laughs> yeah, man. Nobody has a Garmin. Uh, dude. <laughs> yeah, I do. You know? Well, I mean, if you got a boat and stuff, you got Garmin stuff. Yeah. But well, they still nobody make uses an actual. I think I got a watch. Yeah, yes, yeah. anymore. Yes. It's right. just on your phone. I got a Garmin watch. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, but I'm saying you don't have that little module no. that goes, you know, the Tom velcros Tom. to your dash yeah. dashboard. Same when the Tom Tom came out. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. You just don't have it. Yeah. Well, I mean, honestly, just like the invention of cell phones pretty much took over everything. Game Between, changer. Like, uh, even like not iPads, but what were the, the iPods? The iPods, the first one with a little quick click wheel. I mean, that took over a lot of shit yeah. right away. Yeah. I mean. You're like, hey, you have a jukebox in your pocket that has every song you ever heard of your whole life. So I don't need to carry this book of CDs around <laughs> anymore? It weighs got, 70 pounds. One. Oh, yeah. I still got an old, yeah. old-ish one. Yeah. That's like the classic style one. Uh, my buddy Andy's got the the first one that came out. Yeah. Not the like big, the actual the first. Big, the word, first one? The first <laughs> the big version. Brick. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, dude. It's pretty gangster looking oh, it yeah. looks like a commodore 64 of ipads <laughs> yeah and my yeah. first one had the click wheel and that's antiquated now you know what yeah. i'm saying yeah. and that's like the weird part like <clears throat> records are still around so yeah you know it's well just, it's funny they kind of it ebbs and flows too you know records make comebacks the sound quality on a record is yep. It's way different than the digital sound. It's superior to anything else, man. Yeah. Even just like uh, recording wise, um, you get that warmth. For, like even like uh, old two inch tape, like right. reel to reel tape and yeah. stuff, dude. Like band recording and stuff. You just get yeah. something that you can't. Everything is emulate. so compressed down. And the compression know. is what fucks everything up. And you, you cannot emulate that analog sound anymore. Yeah. Well, I mean. Well, you there's can, things that are but, made to do it, but it's not the same. And here's the thing, though: like, there's not too many people trying to emulate that analog sound anymore, anyways, because they're just audio files. Just well, no, I'm saying like recording wise, yeah. like musicians. Yeah, the people. There, that, there is some people that really go after it. There's, but there's not many of them. But a lot of things have just turned all digital, and it's it's sad because analog, I think, is the way to go. There is a a better if you're a purist. It's the only better way. sound to it, but man. Well, I mean, tube amps. Look at between that and yeah. Here's the thing: a tube amp for a guitar. To this day, no matter what you do, yeah. No matter what technology you use and put into an amplifier, you're never matching that sound. Mm. That's like one of the things that has <clears throat> yeah. stood the test of time. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because all and, the emulator amps that have all the different it's stuff, not the same. Nope. It's just a, just a reproduction. But that's a purist thing. That's a recording studio thing. That's you know, the, the true of the true yeah. are the only people using that stuff because that stuff's expensive as shit. <laughs> yeah. Here's the crazy part: uh, that old reel to reel tape, like the old masters, like the old Motown stuff. Yep. Um, or anything really. But I, I heard about it 
when I when I used to work at Guitar Center, uh, the old masters from the old Motown days and all that stuff you used to have to bake those in the oven to keep them basically uh, alive, sort of. Like, really, to keep the consistency of them together. No shit. Yeah, you used to actually have to like heat them. Wow. Which is crazy. Yeah. Yeah. It's nuts. <laughs> Matt's look, looking at me like, what the fuck? Yeah. Never heard that shit before. Never yeah, heard that. Yeah. Just to keep them from, like, going bad, keep like, Keep them aging. from degrading, yeah. 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 All right. Yeah. Nuts. Yeah. It's, uh, it's a different world now, man. Anybody mm-hmm. can fucking open up their Apple computer and pop up Garage Band or whatever's yeah. on there and start recording now. It used to be a mission. Well, guys, I'm gonna go get my <laughs> yellow Walkman and get the fuck out of here. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Are you gonna go jog with it too? Yeah. Hell yeah. yeah. I'm gonna go jog. No, with... You can't jog with a Walkman. You gotta walk with a Walkman. That's true. <laughs> Where your air walks. At the same I don't know. Time. That yellow one was the active version. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah, so yeah I might for be sporty doing people. a little jogging. <laughs> Remember Reebok pumps? I had yeah. me some. I still have some at home. I had the Spalding pumps. I was poor. Yeah. Don't feel bad, Cody. I was poor, too. <laughs> Touche. <laughs> Touche. But I did have that Night Rider big wheel. Oh. <laughs> the gangster is the Badass. Market. You had a razor, though, so it's, yeah. it's the yeah. same. Man. It was yeah. probably a knockoff razor, though. Gazer. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you, know, you know what the worst part about riding that razor is? Telling, telling your mom you fuck guys. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> ah. Ah, too funny. Yeah, yeah. Same thing with rollerblades, eh? That's Always. Another antiquated thing. Yep. That joke's been around since junior high. Hey, bro, skater die. That's yeah. all I gotta say. Word. Get yeah, a, get a deck. What? Uh, we there? We done? Yes, sir. There's nothing off the top of my head that's Let's, sticking out. If you guys got any ideas out there, hit us up. Shigasdeep dot com. We have a uh, what? Where is that, Cody? I don't even know. I programmed the thing, but <clears throat> what's that? The uh, where they can leave us the hate mail. Oh. Well, info at shitgetsdeep dot com. Yes. You could email us, and yes. we have a survey. You could do that. Yeah. Just all all hate mail suggestions. Yeah, we want anything. We want some more uh, give us that feedback. Technology. Hop on and give us yeah. a little bit of feedback, whether it's on Twitter or even on an Instagram post. Give us some yeah. comments. Let us know what you think. Let us know one way or the other. That's right. Yes. Yeah, what's up? Anybody got any last words? I do not. I don't fuck, but I don't fuck guys. You almost said big guys. Yeah, he was like, "I'd like to take the little ones." Little I, like, shit, I like little guys. But that's right after I hop off my razor scooter. Stop! <laughs> Check out my Spalding pump. <laughs> Stop it! <laughs> cool. All right. Uh, thank you guys again, as always, and uh, yeah. Till next time. Cheers. Peace and love. That's it. Another episode in the books. Want to give a quick shout out, of course, to my fucking crew because they're the shit. Without them, I would not be able to do any of this. And next, I would definitely like to thank you guys for listening. There's no reason for us to do this shit otherwise. So, that being said, be fucking nice to people. Don't be an asshole. Quit littering. Try and do some fucking good. Don't be a dick. Anyways, subscribe, do all that stuff. Yeah, have fun, guys. Till next time.